<laughs> Hello everyone, happy Saturday, Chuck Roberts here for a live review. This time it's Tesco, Tesco and the own brand treatment. Hope you're doing okay. Lovely day outside today it seems, yeah, a bit of a... Bit of a difference for a bank holiday in the UK, so yes, there we go. <laughs> yes, hope you're doing right. Thanks for voting, by the way, if you did vote for this. So I'd put a, those of you who don't know, um, sometimes um, I put a little sort of, um, yeah, a poll out basically to see what I should review for the live reviews and things like this. Sometimes I just post other things as well. Um, so yeah, if you've not got the uh, the bell icon clicked, I think you might not see notifications of that. It's the one that's to, um, I think, the subscribe um, button or whatever on my channel. So yeah, be sure to click that and you can get involved as well. So yeah, so thanks to those who voted on that one. Quite a close one. Um, wasn't an overwhelming uh, win, I guess, but um, well, it did win by a, a margin. So, you know, but anyway, so yeah, the options were sort of mystery reviews, uh, Morrison's review, um, little part three, I think it was, stuff like that. So yeah, so as I say, click that uh, bell icon, they can be um, informed about such things. <laughs> so yes, hope you're doing all right. Um, hope everyone's okay. Um, I'll say a lovely day out today. Um, so I imagine maybe people might be out and about and stuff like that. I know it's a Champions League final as well this evening. So of course, there might be a bit of um, <laughs> a few people anticipating that perhaps. So I've got, um, as I say, a few Tesco products today. Got about seven things in, in all is the gist of it. We've got the typical Tesco equivalents of all the usual suspects, the, um, you know, the Mars, the Twix, um, yeah, the, uh, what is it, Milky Way, I think we've even got maybe, um, and perhaps the Snickers as well, um, I think those are the ones we've got, and also some other things as well, so yeah, so the general, the general sort of Tesco suite, I guess you would say, but of course they do do a lot of things, so I might revisit them and go back and get more stuff as time goes on, there's, there's loads of Tesco owned brand products, there's loads of Lidl owned brand products, and obviously I've got Aldi coming up as well, um, tons of stuff, um, I did, I did schedule Aldi for next week, but I might put a vote out there just to see if people, you know, <laughs> do want that one next. I'm sure they will do, but just to have a bit of interaction, I might do that. So, yeah, so keep your, um, well, I guess your mouse pointer peeled, I guess you'd say. Yeah, so plenty to do today, plenty to do. I'm not sure where to start. I might start on the, um, let's have a look. Um, Yeah, might start on the might start on the sort of Miss Molly range of um, Tesco stuff basically. Now I've had a few um, internet problems this morning, so I do apologise. The internet cuts out. It's uh, yeah, it's just it's just one of those. It's quite it's quite temperamental I internet. Mean, I have to really look after it, you know. After <laughs> I've basically been feeling it, stroking it all sorts this morning to make sure it's uh, it stays working. So fingers crossed, it stays okay. So yeah, so we'll see. Right, so we've got some Miss Molly's range. So basically, um, now I think. Um, we're just having a chat about this in the Discord chat, uh, links in the description by the way. Um, yeah, about uh, what, what who first came up with this, and someone was mentioning it was perhaps it was Lidl or Aldi or something, who sort of renamed their own brands to something that sounded a bit more special rather than just Tesco Value or something it was called. Well, in this case, Ms. Molly's, so yes, there we go. <laughs> so there is a bit of a range, I believe there might be a, a more, this is like the sort of, I guess a value range you'd perhaps say. Um, Hi Rick, hi Rick. Yes, yes, probably what it is, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> I know Cadbury's infiltrated me. I think oh, you know what? If it was that, I would I'd happily do a Cadbury's review. It just seems so um, random. Um, I don't know what it, I just don't know what it is. I, I can't. I've, I, sometimes if I reset my router, it sorts it. Sometimes if I turn it off and turn it on, it sorts it. Sometimes if I move it, it sorts it. Sometimes none of those sort it. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes restarting my PC sorts it. Sometimes I, I just honestly, I, I it's, it's it's unbelievable. So it was working fine about half an hour, about twenty minutes before the broadcast, and then all of a sudden it stopped. And I noticed that my neighbour's car arrived. Now it's a four G connection I've got, so it actually is um, using basically a mobile network to sort of connect because the upload speeds after my regular broadband aren't good enough to do these kind of things. So I've had to get a four G contract essentially. Um, so anyway, long story short, I noticed my neighbour's car had re-arrived, so, and it's near the window where my neighbour's car, so I don't know if it's just the neighbour's car got in the way of the signal. I don't know whether that is, and I have considered it before, and it seems ludicrous, but um, it is something that could change, not not randomly, but seemingly randomly to me, because I don't see it, because obviously, you know, they just arrived. Um, so there is a chance it's that, and I've, I've moved the route, and that seems to have sorted it, so, you know, and I've moved the antennas to point in a different direction. So, who knows? But anyway, so if the, if the neighbours have any friends over, they could all go to pot. <laughs> but yeah, so far so good, Rick. So I hope you're doing okay, by the way. How's things in Canada? I say it's quite a, quite a nice um, summerish day today. Quite a nice summerish day. Um, yeah, so Miss Molly's, as I was saying, um, their own range of Tesco stuff. Um, yeah, by the way, Rick, and just in case we get any... Um, nutters i'll make you um you know obviously you know if you don't want to have this you can always change mind or tell me but i'm just going to make you um a moderator so if anyone comes in who starts making stupid comments things like this just uh, basically right click on them or click on the three dots or whatever and just say hide them from the channel obviously use your own judgment if it's someone who's just 
a bit quirky, then don't worry about it. But if someone's literally saying stupid things, then yeah, so feel free to do it. So hopefully you'll be a, you have that ability now. So um, yeah, so there you go. I trust you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Ms. Molly's, uh, obviously I'll try and do it as well, of course, but it could be that, you know, yeah. I'll just, um, you know, there we go. You're regular on the channel. I trust you. So there we are. <laughs> so Miss Molly. So there we go. Plain chocolate. Yes. So they do a few of these. Obviously, you can you can imagine what other two they'll do. And um, there's lots of Miss Molly's range. Um, but generally, I think the, I don't know, what, I can't quite recall off the top of my head what the other ones are. But they seem to be quite a generic lot. And I think it might be replaced their old value range. So here we go. So this is what it looks like. I mean, you can imagine if you didn't say Miss Molly's on it, it said Tesco's value. It would look a lot less inviting. So it's a good, it's a quite a good thing that they've done it. Um, a good idea, rather. Um, let's have a look on the back. So we've got, it's got some blur about whatever Miss Molly's is. Welcome to Miss Molly's fabulous store, home to the tastiest treats in town. Packed with all the fa family's favourite goodies. It's here to make your day a little bit sweeter. No artificial flavours. Yes, there we go. So it tries to make it into something a bit more exciting than it probably is. Super vegetarians, it says as well. Um, yeah, you probably can. It does say don't worry about it. If, uh, if it's too much trouble or it's a problem, don't feel obliged to do it. There's no obligation or anything like that, you know. And you can even request for me to take that from you if you don't want to do it. There's no obligation at all. It's just, <clears throat> if you happen to be able to do it and you can, then do it. But yeah, I think you probably just a long tap on someone, long long press on someone's name. It'll give you the options, basically. Um, but as I say, don't worry about it. If it's too much trouble or whatever, <clears throat> there's no obligation. You know, it's a purely, yeah, it's just one of those. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. If you don't want to, you don't want to. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Just, you know, it's just nice to you here and to chat. So that's, if that's all you want to do, I don't want to give you any more work or anything like that. So please, there's no obligation or anything like this. <laughs> okay, yes, so um, there we go. So let's have a look. Um, yeah, so we've got, what's the size of the bar then? What's the size? Uh, 100 grams. Yeah, I've still not got any new stuff, by the way. I know I was talking about getting some Canadian stuff and then um, some Giardelli stuff as well, or have you pronounced it. I've not done it yet because I'm trying to get through the backlog <laughs> to an extent. Um... Yeah, so um, hopefully at some point I will do. Hi Hans, how are you doing? Good to see us. Notice you'd left a comment before. Good to see you. Um, yeah, so it probably is about, let's see, it's probably about 9pm, is it, where you are? 9pm, so a bit more of a prop, uh, an acceptable time rather than 2am as normal. So yeah, good to see you, by the way. Hope, uh, hope you're doing all right. So there we go. So um, nutrition per 100 grams, that's the whole bar, basically. Uh, 520 calories, 31 grams of fat, 19 of which are saturates. So quite... Uh, Quite high in calories, the whole thing. Yeah, but, but well, I say that it's in the it's in it's lower. It's the lower end of the five hundred to five fifty scale. I usually have so you know, Coke solids forty nine percent minimum. Plain chocolate. Yeah, okay, not bad. And there's no um contains six servings. There's no uh yeah. Don't seem to be any palm oil in it. So that's not so bad. But I guess we probably expect that because it's a dark chocolate. I don't think eleven p.m. All right, so a bit later than I thought. Yeah, but still, well, still not that late. Still acceptable. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Oh, I hope you're doing all right. Yeah, good to see you, by the way, as I say. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I can understand that the midweek ones are perhaps a bit too late. Yeah, you, so, yeah, so you're right. Yeah, it's for three hours difference, isn't it? Yeah, which makes sense. It would be too. I should have been able to work that out. My maths, obviously, wasn't with me today. It never is, actually. So I'll just go uh, zoom down a bit so we can have a look at this uh, bar as I open it. And I have to excuse any mess down here. Probably there's plenty of it. There we go. Yeah, I'll just manoeuvre things a bit slightly so we... There we go. And how to. Not normally a problem with that being on the camera, but there we are. It is today for some reason. There we go. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, I'll just adjust the brightness, possibly. Um, it just normally needs to be done slightly. Right. Okay. There we are. Okay. So. Uh, some, uh, What's that? There's like a shadow. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, Miss Molly's. There we are. Yeah, plain chocolate. Not too bad. Not dark chocolate, but plain chocolate. So let's see, when I was younger, I used to call them um, dark chocolate plain chocolate. And I don't know why that was. Um, but there we go. So we've got some uh, flourishes going on here. So we'll give that a quick measure. Hopefully we can remember uh, what it is. It's about 18 and a half centimetres, basically. So we'll open it now. I don't think it's going to blow our socks off, by the way. I think it's just going to be a relatively... Solid dark chocolate. So, uh, but we'll see if I can open it. I'm trying to open it so I don't damage the. Basically, I send the wrappers off to uh, people who collect wrappers um, for my channel. So, uh, well, not for my channel, but they collect uh, wrappers who are members of the channel or whatever, or subscribers. Um, so, I try not to rip them, basically. So, that's why you'll see me sometimes being a bit delicate. <laughs> the same fairness away, I guess. 
So it was 18 and a half centimetres. And there we go, she's ripped now, but anyway. Well, there's nothing I can do if it's... I think they only want the front anyway, but anyway. Right, so it smells quite nice actually, a nice smell coming from it. Yeah, nice smell. A typical sort of dark chocolate smell, I think you'd say, but nonetheless, still a nice one. So it was 18 and a half centimetres. I do have the calipers, but they're, they're only good to about 14 centimetres. Um, and now it's about 16.3. So we've lost about 2.2 centimetres. Yeah, so it's not too, too bad, but it's still an amount. Okay, so there we go. So a lot of uh, crumbs coming on here. So you can see there's that sort of typical... I, I, think, it would, I think it would make the bar um, if it had Miss Molly's written on it. I think that would really make a difference and make it feel a bit like it was some kind of proper brand rather than just the wrapping. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's Tesco chocolate hands. Tesco chocolate. Yeah. Do you have Tesco? Um, sorry, is it Malaysia or Indonesia you're at? I think you said Malaysia, didn't you? Yeah, do you have Tesco there? I know they are in some non-UK countries, but I'm not sure which ones. I quite like the way that the segments don't go right... These Sorry, these lines don't go right to the edge. I think that looks quite interesting. You didn't have to do that. Um, I quite like that, actually. That's quite... An, a unique thing. Yeah. Malaysia, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> You'll never eat Tesco chocolate. <laughs> to be honest with you, Hans, I've not had this before either. This is the first time for me. I've never had it before. So we could be in for a shock. Uh, it might be really nice. Um, or it could be terrible. <laughs> but yeah, I'm the same. I've never had it before. This is my first time. My first exposure to Tesco chocolate. Um, but I quite like it. I just wish you had Miss Molly's written on it. I think it would make a difference. Or even if it's just a... Well, I don't know. Yeah. I just wish it had something on it that made it seem a bit more exciting, like the wrapper suggests, you know. Okay, well, let's give it the measure then. Um, so we said it was 16.3, didn't we, in width? I quite, I'd say, quite like the design. Um, let's give it the order Wait for any treatment. Oops, slips a bit there. We'll just uh, adjust it here. You can see there, 7.5. Okay. And the height. 0.7 centimetres, there we go. Yeah, not bad. I say it looks, I think it looks a bit typical, but there we are. No caramel centre chocolate. I didn't see any, Rick. Um, obviously, they do have their own versions, which will come to with um, various chocolate bars, like Mars bars and things. Um, but I've not seen any. Yeah, I didn't see any, but I, I will go back and have a, a peruse, um, basically, and see at some point. There are, nice snap to this one. Yeah, nice snap. Hmm. Feels um, it feels like you, you can just even sounds like that kind of chocolate now because of that strange quirk of the design you can see they do get like a things like this going on where it's kind of snapped over the edge which is I don't know I like the design from a look point of view but obviously when you snap it you might get things like this going on where just little bits get lost like that when you snap it okay let's lift myself up let's give it a taste quite excited about this one now I haven't had much to eat today so we are we are in danger of first chocolate syndrome and um, where it might you know where anything will taste amazing um so it's just there's not much we can do about that um <laughs> but it is something to bear in mind um yeah okay right there we go right okay dark chocolate looks interesting mm. let's uh, give it a taste that's it yeah Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um. Hmm. It's not bad, you know. I mean, it's not gonna. You know, it's hard to say. It's much better than other dark chocolates. I mean, it's not a, a too rich dark chocolate. It's not overly dry. So it's it's forty nine percent cocoa soy. I think it was. Um. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right, Rick. It will. Yeah, it probably will be. I mean, they do do quite a lot of things, but um, when you ask to do with their own sort of chocolates. I mean, I wouldn't have said Asda was like the uh, the big spender of the supermarkets, but they've done their own sort of special pinwheel buttons and things that seem to be unique to them and things. So I'll have a look. Maybe they have done something, but I didn't see anything. Um, you know, Asda do quite a, lot, a large range of chocolates, but I didn't, I'll say I didn't really see Tesco specifically doing them. Um, yeah, so it's something to look out for that. I might revisit it at some point and have a look. Hmm. Yeah, I'll keep my eye out to let you know, but you're probably right though. I didn't see it, so yeah, you know. I guess if they don't need to, they won't really bounce, but I was going to say it's a bit of a surprise, actually. But this is actually pretty nice, this one. I say first chocolate syndrome, we have, must remember that. <laughs> um, but um, it's not bad. It's not, it's not a sort of very dry, even though it sounds dry when you hear it clunky, you know. It sounds a bit dry, doesn't it? It's not really melting my fingers. Um, but it's not too bad, really. 
Yeah, grocery buy groceries, not chocolate. <laughs> well, obviously, you can buy non-Tesco branded chocolate from there, of course. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean, Hans, I know what you mean. But that's the point of this review. Maybe we'll find something very exciting that we wouldn't have otherwise considered, you know. And I must say, this isn't too bad. I don't say it's any worse than Cadbury's Bourneville, you know. It's definitely a, it's a similar kind of thing to Bourneville, basically. Hmm. It's not bad. It's a kind of... Um, a richness to it, but... Um, Without the dryness, really. Mm. It melts in the mouth pretty well. I don't mind this. I think this is, a, is pretty good. As a dark chocolate goes, it's definitely... It's perfectly fine. I mean, it's not... Um, I don't think it's any worse than dark chocolate I've tasted before. It's actually a pretty good offering. This one is very cheap as well, say, being Tesco's own brand stuff. It's not expensive. Mm. I could quite happily have that over um, Bourneville or anything like this, I think. But yeah. Mm. It's not bad, that. Mm. So it's very much a dark chocolate. I'm rating it as a dark chocolate. So, you know, for what it is, obviously, if you don't like dark chocolates or you're thinking of other things, you know what I mean? It might not be quite comparable. But as a dark chocolate goes, um, I'm impressed with it. I'm quite happy with this one. I think it tastes very nice. Mm. I think a four out of five. No reason not to give it that. It's um, it's a good, it's a good solid, tasty, not too rich, ticks all the boxes dark chocolate. You know, yeah, I like it. I say it's not going to blow your socks off. There's nothing. If you had something else in it, you know, maybe it would. Um, but yeah, it was nice that I enjoyed that. Not bad at all. You're a milk chocolate fan. Well, we have something for you there, Hans. <laughs> the next one, which is milk chocolate. There we go. You see. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I'm not normally a massive dark chocolate fan, but it does grow on you. Um, I think it was just one year back in 2008. I think it was uh, maybe nine, or between 2009 and 12. Anyway. Um, I uh, I just started, I just had a massive craving for dark chocolate. I don't know what it was. I never before had it. I never was particularly bothered by it. I never really was that interested in it. And all of a sudden, I was just buying Cadbury's Bourneville frequently. And um, I enjoyed it. You just, you have it sort of less frequently than milk chocolate. You just have little, you know, I don't know. It's strange, really. But you just end up um, eating a segment or two, I don't know, every... 15 minutes or something rather than one every five seconds you know um but yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean hands maybe in time it might uh, grow on you who knows but if it doesn't well it doesn't you know what i mean it's just the way it goes i'm just uh but for me it did grow on me and uh, i quite happy i can i can quite appreciate it now um, it has a bit of a refined taste i must say um you know sometimes you can just hear me moving the uh, chocolate specks off the uh, plate <laughs> right so yeah well as you say hands we've got this one for you now um Miss Molly's traditional, is it say traditional? Treat store milk chocolate. So I can imagine, uh, it says exclusively at Tesco, as if, well, it's made by Tesco, isn't it? <laughs> well, it may as well be. Um, it's their it's their own brand stuff anyway. Now, unfortunately, again, it's got the same design. It's going to have the same problem. It's the same size bar. It's 100 grams. Um, it's got the same shenanigans on the back. Um, so all the, uh, so the, the 18 and a half centimetres is going to be 16.3 uh, again, stuff like this. Uh, but we'll still measure it just in case, but, you know. And there we've got the same shining as welcome to Miss Molly's fabulous store, home to tasty streets in town, part of all the family's favourite goodies. It's here to make your day a bit sweeter, no, no, sweeter, no artificial flavours. Um, okay, now I didn't notice that one there. I, I didn't read the bottom bit where it says, we purchased a volume of cocoa from Rainforest Science Certified Farms equivalent to the volume using this product. I wish I'd not skipped that bit. Because you, you see what that's saying there? I, I don't know if some of you saw my review when I reviewed the um, Orange Yorkie and I was saying that sometimes they seem to offset... They buy stuff and then uh, who knows what they do with it to say that they buy equivalent of the chocolate they use and then but don't use it in the product. Um, of sort of, I don't know, of fair trade chocolate or whatever it is. Um, and then it turned out that Nestle Yorkie didn't seem to do that. Um, but this one is doing it. So we've got a perfect example. Look at this. So you can see here, look at this. We purchase a volume of cocoa from Rainforest Alliance certified farms equivalent to the volume used in this product. And what do they do with that? What do, when they've purchased that, what do they do with it? Just bin it? So you see, so you see the problem with that. You know, that's not solving the problem. That's just that, that's that's ridiculous. It's like <laughs> it's like me sort of saying I'm saying I'm a vegetarian because I, as well as the meat I eat, I buy the equivalent in not in vegetarian burgers or whatever. You know, I eat I eat a, a Big Mac or something, but I buy the equivalent in. Not in, in vegetarian meat as well, you know, uh, for what it's called, corn meats, mints or whatever, you know, and that, that makes me a vegetarian, you know, it's just, <laughs> you know, and as I say, and the sort of, and then what do you do with the, the vegetarian stuff you do, just bin it, you know, um, 
So it seems really poor that. I mean, you might use it for something, but we don't know that. Um, so it's really poor that, I think. And does it say the same on the dark chocolate one? So I don't think I read it. Um, yeah, it's the same thing, so you can see it there. So you see what I mean? So I would always read the small prints on these things, because that's pretty... Uh, I, I don't think that's right, you know what I mean? I realise the hearts might be in the right place, but in order just to, to justify or have the Rainforest Alliance certificate written on your thing, or to in some way make your bar sound better than it is, to, to be saying you're doing that, is it? I mean, to be fair with them, they don't, I don't think it has the Rainforest Alliance symbol on it. Um, but it seems a bit of a spurious thing anyway, I won't go on about it anymore, but you get the point. <laughs> okay, so calorie-wise, there we go. Per 100 grams, 100 gram bar. 541 calories, 29 grams of fat, 18 of which are saturates. So you can see it's 541, so 21 extra calories, I think it's one or 20. Um, yeah, 21. Um, but yeah, about just slightly less fat. Slightly less fat, but yeah. So it's a bit more of the upper edge of the 500 to 550 range, this one. Um, yeah, you, you, yeah, it's... It's a pain, isn't it, Hans? I mean, I, I have internet problems as well. It is a pain, yeah. I hope you get it sorted, but it's it's a pain. The thing with Wi-Fi, sometimes um, it can depend on certain things if something's in the way of the signal or whatever. You could try resetting your router and stuff like that, you know. All the shenanigans, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, one slice of cheese on the Big Mac. Yeah, you would have thought there'd be two, wouldn't you? You would have thought there'd be two, yeah, yeah. Tell you what, McDonald's. I mean, I, 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 I don't haven't had a McDonald's for a long time. I try not to have it really, but I love it basically. I love it, but I, I try not to have it. You know, I'm, I'm quite good like that really, uh, especially when I'm having all these chocolates and things. I can't be, I just can't be eating all, all the things I love. Unfortunately, I probably shouldn't eat them anyway. Um, I love the gherkins on on McDonald's burgers. And I always love. I never knew what they were. And I absolutely love them. I know some people hate them, um, but I love them. I absolutely love them. And I never knew what they were. I thought they were just specific to. McDonald's, and I found out what they were about six or seven years ago or something, and I just went crazy just having gherkins on everything. I think I was making my own burgers at the time, and then, um, or whatever, and I was just, I just had, I just was buying jars and jars of gherkins, you know. <laughs> Once I didn't have them on their own, I know some people, I don't know, I think pregnant women often sometimes <laughs> are known to be eating full gherkins. I haven't gone that far, but uh, yeah. yeah. You had the chicken, you're more of a KFC fan, are your hands? Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not a chicken fan, of, I'm not really a meat person, really. I do eat burgers and stuff. I eat the rubbish meat, you know, um, basically, all the stuff that's associated with not being the best quality. Um, I, you know, I'm not bothered about steaks and stuff, you know, just, just regular hamburgers are fine by me. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really much of a meat person. I've not had meat since Christmas, so I've not had meat for almost six months now, you know. I only had that because it was Christmas and it was just the thing. Um, obviously, I've had I've had sort of gelatin and chocolate and stuff like that, you know. I, I do really, I don't, I'm not that sort of against it. But I just don't generally eat much meat. I'm just not really a meat person, you know. It's not that I'm against it or have any problem with it or I just don't eat much of it, you know. But I do like, as I say, some of the rubber stuff, but just don't tend to eat it. I'm quite happy not to, you know. I think the one weakness I do have is pepperoni on pizza. I find it difficult to avoid that because um, I really like that on pizzas. Um, but even then, I've been quite good. I've been having just cheese pizzas. Um, I say just because I, you know, no real reason, really, just to sort of not eat as much calories, I guess. I'm just trying to be careful, you know. I say eating all this chocolate, you know, it's uh, you just got to be careful. Um, right, so here we go. So yeah, so the calories you mentioned, so pretty much similar to the one. I don't think there's much difference other than the colour. I quite like the colours, you know. I just wish, I'd say, the Miss Molly's thing extended to the, uh, oh, I'm not showing you properly there, extended to the, to the chocolate cubes, you know what I mean? Um, hmm. Yeah, Baker Double Chira Cray. <laughs> exactly, Rick, exactly. That sounds absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Although I do just like the regular cheeseburgers, actually. Um, I don't mind the other ones, but I can just have the regular cheeseburgers. Um, my record for stuff at McDonald's, I have a ridiculous record for what I had it all in once. I mean, it's a bit, I'm mean, sure there's people who've ate more and stuff. It's not like it's that really ridiculous. Um, for a long time, it was... Um, Two hamburgers, two cheeseburgers, two Big Macs, large fries and a large milkshake. And that was when I, I was about eight or something like that. Well, maybe not eight, but I was quite young when I had that much. Because I think they gave us too much by accident. And of course, I just polished it all off. Um, but then when I was uh, I was in Holland for a bit and um, I was trying to get a, a deal on double cheeseburgers. Um, but because of a translation problem, um, they thought I meant double quarter, quarter pounders. So they actually gave me four quarter pounders, I think it was. <laughs> Um, large fries and a large um, yeah milkshake, I think it was. Was it four quarts of pounds I guess? And some cheeseburgers as well. There's something a bit weird like that. I think I was, yeah, double cheeseburgers I thought I was buying. And I thought I wanted to, just in case I didn't like them, um, I kind of bought some cheeseburgers as well. So I think I had, it was something like four quarter pounders and four 
um, cheeseburgers, I think, or something ridiculous like that. You know, it's a, unfortunately I can't quite remember now. So yeah, my rec- I can't really tell you what my record is perfectly anymore. But it was a ridiculous amount of stuff. <laughs> no cream eggs, though, Rick. No cream eggs. <clears throat> okay, so I just measure it again. Um, I do go all in on food sometimes. You know, like when I go to Domino's, I get two large pizzas and I do eat them all. Um, it's ridiculous. I remember one time there was there was a hot dog stuffed crust pizza they did. It's basically a large pizza that had a um, hot dog around the edge. And in case I didn't like it, I ordered a regular pizza as well without it. And I, and I liked it and had them both, you know. Um, well, maybe one and a half in one sitting, let the rest later. Um, it was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so it was crackers, really. It was crackers. Yeah, so I don't recommend doing that, whatever you do. Um, but the hot dog stuff, it was really nice. It was a nice quality hot dog. So this one, um, well, about... Uh, 19 centimeters. I'm sure it was 18 and a half last time, but for some reason or another, this one's 19 and a half. So it's a good job we did measure it again. We'll give it an open. I'm 19, so I'll try to be careful. I'll just uh, move in a second, Rick. I'll just um, so don't forget the 19 centimeters. <laughs> okay, so uh, 19 centimeters. Uh, yeah, so 16.3 again, which we could imagine. So maybe the, the wrapper was just um, pulled out a bit more. Yeah, so about two, two point six, two point seven centimeters this time we've lost. So it's gradually building up, isn't it? But you know, it's not because the bar's a bit bigger. It's not too bad. Yeah, most in Europe. Yeah, well, I've not. I don't travel that much. I know lots, lots of people love traveling. It's never really. I don't mind going to other countries and things, but um, I'm not a big traveler person. Um, I've you know, I've only been to a few countries in Europe. Where have I been? Um, not many. I like. Uh, I've been to Spain, Portugal, Holland. Uh, I think they're the main ones. And if you count Scotland, I've been to Scotland as well. That's something that some people don't, because um, it's part of the UK. But in the UK, we sort of refer to it as another country. It's a bit complicated. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a uh, um, yeah. So it's funny what well, you haven't been anywhere. I've been to Belgium once as well. Um, don't been to France. I think that's about it, really. Um, yeah, I don't know. I quite I like Holland. Holland's a nice place. I must say, it's a nice place to be. It's probably one I've been to the most. Um, you know, but it can be a bit cold. I quite like Spain and Portugal. Portugal went to when I was young, though, but I did like it there. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think but it depends what you're into, really. For me, I'm sort of, as I say, I'm not really into sort of the weather and stuff like that. I'm not bothered about heat and things. But obviously, if you like that kind of thing, then places like Spain and Portugal are perfect. Um, you know, I don't know, really. Yeah, I just like sort of seeing different things. Yeah, still does hands. Yeah, although you might not believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've left the EU, or yeah, we've left the EU, which is like a, um, a sort of trade block, I guess you'd say. Um, but we're still part of the continent, you know, it's not changed. But yeah, in the, in, the, in the UK and in England, we do kind of have a weird thing where we sort of refer to Europe as something separate. We do do that. So it's, um, yeah, it's a bit of a funny one. You know, it's because we're sort of, I don't know, it's just, it's just a, I don't know, historical thing, I guess. Or the fact that we're kind of not part of mainland Europe, so it's just a way of, referring to the rest of it you know um, i guess ireland though is obviously another country and but you know yeah I don't, it's a complicated thing i think complicated <laughs> uh, but yes basically we are yeah okay so we go exactly the same design same features same you know a bit of a scratch there unfortunately but uh, yeah same nice feature where it's got that sort of where the segment things don't go to all the way to the edge which i quite like although it does cause problems when you snap it because it could mean a bit of a lip on the edges although it's only a small problem we'll just give it a bit of a measure first before um before i forget <laughs> it's about 7.4 7.5 again exactly the same uh that's in the width wasn't it and then the height can't quite recall what it was last time about 0.7 was it yeah it's about the same 0.7 Again, just in case, yes, a bit different this time for some reason, but still 0.7 pretty much. Yeah, hey, oh, you've been to England, have your hands? Yeah, well, it's quite a distance for you to come, has to be said. Um, did you like it here? What did you think? And yeah, you'll notice the English flag there, it's it's gone it's, it, for me. I it, it looks as a black flag, and it's because they're not standardized it in, in the Discord chat. I had the different segments for um, for chocolates sightings and had different countries and i put the english flag scottish flag and they just came as black flags because it's not been standardized yet so it's pretty annoying yeah so at some point hopefully they will get it sorted um so you can see there's not as big a crack as the other one so you hear the sound because it's a lot softer still sounds about the same there but when i snapped it yeah hmm, a bit softer than this one hi joe how are you doing good to see you glad you could make it glad you could make it <laughs> 
how's things in Brazil today? We're just talking about different uh, countries and things. Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, how's Brazil today? Hopefully it's uh, going well. Sure, it's sunny. <laughs> are you on, on the beach again? <laughs> I always say on the beach. You're probably not at all. You? <laughs> Sorry if that was a bit stereotypical there. I shouldn't be uh, saying that really. But yeah, we're just doing Tesco's own brand stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so here we go. So it's uh, yeah. So basically, we've done the dark chocolate one. Um, yeah, and now we're on to milk chocolate basically. So the dark chocolate one was very nice actually. I quite enjoyed it. Obviously, uh, Hans was saying doesn't like dark chocolate. I don't think he's going to win him over. Um, it's just a typical dark chocolate, but it was nice. Um, yeah, so obviously Tesco. Is this Tesco's value range that they call Ms. Molly? Um, it's got another one of those things. Um, that you probably might be a bit more familiar with this as well, Jav. Is the fact that here you can see some of our reviews are saying that some some bars say they buy cocoa and don't necessarily use it. You can see here it says we purchased a volume of cocoa from Rainforest Alliance Certified Farms, equivalent to the volume used in this product. So they purchased it. But what have they done with it? Who knows? So it's crazy that. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's not used in the product basically. Um, yeah. But anyway, okay, let's give this a go. I say it would be nice if we did have the Ms. Molly branding on the segments as well, rather than just this generic template. I don't. I think that would really make it make the difference. Really, make it feel like it was a bit more special. Yeah. So. Okay, let's give it a taste. Milk chocolate. Does it say what percentage cocoa sides, whatever is used? Uh, it contains milk, cocoa size 28% minimum, milk solids 14% minimum. I'll just show you that just so you can see it. Just above the purple allergy, allergy advice. Okay, right, let's give it a go. Give it a taste. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not bad, you know. Bit of a, um, hmm. Bit of a licorice -y taste to it somehow. No, that's possible. Um, hmm. It does have a sort of. It does have another taste, but it's not. I wouldn't say it's an unpleasant taste. It has something else going going for it. Um, hmm. Hmm. Not too bad, you know. It's got a bit of a funny taste, as I say. So, I would describe it as like almost like a tint of licorice. Um, hmm. Which is different, unusual. It's not too bad. It's not. It's not like I won't say it's obviously the best milk chocolate in the world. It's not up there with dairy milk or anything like that, as far as I'm concerned. I know obviously some people might not like dairy milk or whatever, but whatever your favourite chocolate is, it's not really on that level. But it's um, it's not bad. I'll say that's sort of, that licorice you taste. Hmm. Kind of gives it some uniqueness actually that some people might sort of really enjoy and um, hmm, when they find here. Hmm. I don't know what that taste is. It's not, it's not actual licorice, it's not meant to be there, I don't think, but it has that taste to it, as far as I can tell, anyway. It's not bad. It's not too bad, it's not too bad, actually. Yeah, we're a rainy day um, in Brazil. Yeah, I say it's, um, I don't know, well, I guess, you know, I don't know how, I don't know what the weather, I assume it's quite warm quite often, um, but I know there's obviously lots of rainforest around, and obviously rainforest gets its name for having lots of rain, so maybe it's quite, it's quite not too, um, unknown to have uh, lots of rain there, I'm not sure really, but I imagine you get lots of sun as well, so at least it swings, you know, a bit of both. Here we just sort of tend to get middle of the road weather, not one thing or another really, even in the winter. Yeah. Malaysia only summer and rainy day, no four seasons, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember once, um, Hans, I've, I've mentioned this perhaps before, maybe, um, when I was in Holland, I was with, um, I knew someone, um, from Mexico, and he basically he just snow, had a, a real a proper snow day once where it really snowed and it was um you know say that deep or something. And he'd never seen snow before because you know I just remember looking at it saying, Oh, it's like feathers, you know, just like the way it was just coming down. It was a proper snow day, and he would have loved it. The one thing I do love is the is the noise you make when you walk in snow. I love that crunch noise. It's not like any I just love that noise. It's uh, one of my favourite noises that you know. So if you ever do get to uh to be in a snow place, yeah. Listen, listen out for that noise. I'm sure you'll recognise it, and uh, I'm sure you'll, you know, appreciate it. I really like that noise. Just something about it. The only problem with snow is once it, um, it once it starts to melt and things, it just gets so slippy. And if it freezes, if it gets really cold, you just get like just basically ice everywhere. So it's a bit of a nightmare. But when it first snows, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, we don't really get four seasons here, though. Actually, either we get four seasons technically hands, but we don't really get them properly. We don't really get snow in the winter, but it just goes a bit colder and darker. Um, we don't really get snow. We get some of it, but at least where I am anyway. Um, we don't really get lots of sun in the summer either. We just get, it just gets not, not as cold and not as wet, basically. <laughs> but it's lighter. We do have a lot of light difference. So it gets like light at four in the morning, three in the morning in, at now, for instance. Um, and in the winter, it gets dark at four in the afternoon. So we get, we do get quite 
differences with that really you know so this milk chocolate then quite not not too bad actually you know don't dis i mean it's not uh, going to blow your socks off again we didn't expect that though really um I think it's quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. I think I quite like that unique taste that it has, that licorice -y type taste. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's probably not meant to be. It could be all sorts of nonsense that's really making it, but it tastes not too bad. I don't know if I can really give it a four or anything like that. I mean, I don't know, really. It's not that bad. Maybe I could. Um, as milk chocolate goes, though, milk chocolate and dark chocolate, I think milk chocolate's got a lot more room um, for, for competition, really. Dark chocolate, the one before, it did taste a pretty good, above average dark chocolate, you know. Um, this one... It's not a terrible milk chocolate. I've definitely tasted worse. I, it's definitely better for me, I think, than lots of these lint chocolates and things, which are just too creamy and the Ritter Sport ones. And um, all these really high cream, high, you know, well, it's better than those, I think. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I don't know. It's. I think it's an above average chocolate. It's not, I think as a milk chocolate, block of milk chocolate goes, there's nothing particularly wrong with it. I quite liked it. I don't think I can particularly give it a three and a half, I think. I think I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say a four, yeah. I say second chocolate syndrome, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, four out of five, it was not a bad chocolate, actually. I was perfectly happy with it. it. had a unique taste to it, that licorice type of taste. Didn't really, it wasn't, I wouldn't say if you don't like licorice, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like it. It's not really licorice, it just has a slight tint, hint of something. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Bear in mind, this is my first two chocolate things of the day. Uh, possibly not have much food at all, really. So it could all be a first chocolate syndrome. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those, it's, well, the, the expression we have is the grass is always green on the other side, hands. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard that expression before, but that's basically it. Yeah, it's always better somewhere else. But for me, I'm not a big fan of hot weather at all. I quite like the weather here, actually. I'm quite happy to be in this weather. <laughs> it's not, there's nothing worse for me. I mean, I don't mind if you're outside and not having to do anything and you can experience hot weather that way. But I've, I've no real appreciation of hot weather at all. I mean, I like to look at it. I like that it's bright. But I don't like the heat. And when it gets too hot in my house, I hate it. We don't have air conditioning as standard in the UK because we don't really need it. But every, every two or three years, we have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a massive heat wave, or what we call the heat wave. And the house has become so warm, um, you know, you can't, you know, it becomes really horrible, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy, you know, with a coat on, you know, if I, <laughs> going outside and just, um, yeah, with an umbrella, it's perfectly fine for me. <clears throat> so there we go. Yeah, so there we are. <laughs> Hello, G-Dumps, how are you doing? You don't like Molly's chocolate? Yeah, I prefer it cool as well. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? One of those, yeah. Um, good to see you, by the way. But yes, um, yeah, Molly's chocolate, I don't mind it. I don't, I've not I've no problem with this one. I've no problem so far. We have the last one of the three, the white chocolate one. Miss Molly's, yes. Yeah, so these are the same shenanigans, you know, same wrapper. So it's obviously blue this time. Um, white chocolate, treat store, Miss Molly's. Got the same pattern again. As I said, do wish they'd have a different pattern. Notice on this one actually, uh, oh yeah, it could be a mid a mid segment. I was going to say it has have the edge there, but it could be a mid bar segment. Um, your wife likes them though. Yeah, see, well, more for her than I guess. Yes, yeah, she, she's got it right. She'll be buying this all the time, so you can't pinch any. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, let's see the tactics. Say the ta What's your favourite chocolates then? Dams. Yes, what's your uh, favourite? You have to let me know. Do you, do you like any own brand chocolate? What's your favourite own brand one? I must say it's the first time I've ever had these. I don't mind them. Well, we'll see what the white chocolate one's like. They're very suitable vegetarians again. I think they've all been suitable vegetarians so far. We have. Uh, it's got the same thing, Miss Moore as well, because it's one's fabulous store. Tasty streets in town, part of the family's favourite foods. Yes, blah, blah, blah. We've seen that before now. We, uh, pre we purchased the farm of cocoa. It's got that again. So where does it go when they purchase it? Um... <laughs> yeah, she's not daft. She's not daft. Yeah, <laughs> but I do like Cadbury's as well. I must say, um, I, f I feel I, I don't think I'd ever really go for this over Cadbury's. I mean, but it's not bad. I'm, I'm definitely happy with it. Um, you know, yeah. Just in the description. The description is quite funny. It's just milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate on these ones. Well, plain chocolate says for the. Uh... Yeah. But what, does she like Cadbury's as well, though, G-Dums? Does she, does she pinch your chocolate? Yeah, Cadbury's, not, it's not as good. A lot of the products, I think Rick was saying as well, like things like the cream egg, you know, just not as good these days. Um, I don't mind them still, but, um, yeah, they're, they're smaller. They're, they don't use the same quality chocolate and things, or milk, or dairy milk and stuff like that. Yeah. So what have we got here? So nutrition, 400 grams, 550 calories. So on the top end of this scale now, so it's gone up every time. 31.9 grams of fat, 19 of which are saturates. 
So on the very top end of the 500 to 550 scale that I mentioned, um, I've sort of made up, <laughs> the chocolate bar has per 100 grams, a bit slightly higher in fat as well than the other ones. I guess that's white chocolate for you. Um, yeah, anything else of interest? As I say, there's no uh, palm oil or anything in there. They're in a cool, dry place. Peanuts, nut make it say nuts and wheat and stuff like that. Um, yeah, don't think there's much more to say on it. I'll just give it a bit of a, a lower self down. So you can see it, and we'll give it the measure again. I assume it's going to be 18 and a half to 19 centimeters. The usual drill, 16.3. Okay. All right, so let's have a look. Yeah, so it's about 18.7, so we've got, it's gone down a bit this one. It's just not quite as stretched as much as the milk chocolate one was. Let's give it an open. So hopefully it'll be a nice uh, white chocolate. <laughs> Ah, no worries, no worries, GDMs. Oh, good to see you, by the way. Good to see you, yeah. Oh, I hope you have a lovely day. Hopefully work goes well. Um, but yes, follow it on catch up as well. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment. It's always great to hear from you. And, um, hope you have a lovely day. And enjoy your Cadbury's. <laughs> Keep it away from your wife. <laughs> okay, I'll give this an open. Let's have a seat. If I can. Well, this one's not open quite as well as the others. I try and be careful to open it, but there we go. It's got a very sort of, yeah. Almost like a blue tint to the. Uh, I'm just going to lower the colour because it's because it's white. You can definitely see the. Uh, <laughs> you see how it's just so saturated. Let's have a look. There we go. Okay, a bit more, uh, a bit more agreeable there. I think you'd say. There we go. There you are. Look at that. Right, so yes, so yeah, basically a white chocolate, it has a bit of a, I mean, it's a bit more, it's gone a bit too sort of light in now, really. It's not quite as light as that in hand. Um, you can see sort of my hands have gone a bit red in the, in the camera, but it's a bit difficult. It's more, it's more yellowy than that, really. It's very hard for me to show you, really, because it's just, you know, the camera is trying to compete with the different colours and contrasts and things. I'm not sure how to properly relay that to you. I think that's probably more like, you can see the buttery colour of it, the yellowy colour coming through a bit more now, but you've lost a bit of the... It's gone a bit oversaturated, but I think you get the gist of it. That's pretty much the colour it is. And you see my hands look a bit more normal now as well. Um, it's still, I would say, a bit darker than that, but even so, I think you get the gist of it. So, yeah, there you go. A bit more, uh, not too bad. It's got the same problems, but the same nice design. Yeah, well, it doesn't quite go to the edge, but obviously the same problems with that. So I'll give it a bit of a measure again. It's going to be exactly the same, but we'll measure it for completeness' sake. You never know. I might try and uh, sneak some differences past us. <laughs> Won't put anything past them. It's not, it's not. It's not flat at the size, by the way. I should have said, but um, there you go. About seven point five. And they've all been about seven point five. So it says seven point five six there, but maybe slightly wider. There we go. And the height seven again. Seven millimeters. And we'll do the uh, yeah. With, so about, yeah, about 16.3 again. It's the same difference. It's lost about two centimetres, basically. But the top, yeah, I've not done this before, but the top height, as I say, it's not flat at the sides. It's about 15.3, so this is about a centimetre, really. So you can see, as I say, it's not flat at the sides. It's quite saturated there, but I think you get the gist of it. Okay, a bit of a snap. So you, see, you can see again at the edges, there's these little bits that sort of stick out a bit. On the top corners, I say it's quite saturated. This I can't really. There you go. Only slightly in this case. You can just see these little knob holes on the edge, but just something to bear in mind. It's not a big thing at all. Well, I set myself up then, but you can see it's gone back to normal now. Yeah, it's just white, white on white. It's very difficult to. Hopefully, I think you've got the gist of the colour anyway. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice colour, nice white chocolate colour. Let's just get the camera back to being a bit more normal now as well. I can. Okay, that looks about right, I think. Right, okay, yes. Right, so let's give this a bit of a taste. So, um, what's it smell like? Hmm. N not a great smell, actually. Not a bad smell, either. It's just, just a bit of a nothing smell. So, hmm, okay. Let's give it a taste. Let's see how it goes. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. It's all right. Um, it's not. Yeah, it's okay. This one. I don't. This is probably one of the. I think this is probably going to be a bit of a miss. This one. Um, hmm. It tastes a bit like a sort of. 
Hmm. White chocolate that's a bit... Yeah. It's not a great white chocolate, this one. It's okay. It's not terrible, but it's not... Um, it's just... It's, you can very much tell it's not a, a nice white chocolate. You know what I mean? It's... Um, hmm. It's definitely kind of got... I don't know. Is it a bit powdery? I'm not sure. It doesn't have much of a... A, a substance, a substantial taste. The taste isn't very substantial, if that makes sense. Mm. It tastes sort of very... Um, mm. If you imagine like you're tasting... Imagine what a, a sort of cheap white chocolate would taste like. It kind of does, it does just taste like that. You know, it's not really quite a strong flavour. It's slightly powdery. Um, mm. A bit sort of... A bit of nothing, really. You know, a bit like you might sort of taste on a, hmm, if you had some white chocolate, cooking chocolate or something. You know, it's just like, it's white chocolate, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't taste great because it's, it's, it's going to be, the flavour's going to be used elsewhere. It's going to be melted and stuff. And I don't know, it's going to work out in the end, basically. It tastes a bit like that. It's just, it's just not quite anything. I mean, white chocolate's a bit one of those where, if we did have a strong white chocolate taste, it might catch in the throat to be a bit sickly. It doesn't do that. So there is that going for it. Um... But it's just a bit, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's just a bit of nothing. It's not bad. It's just not really anything. It's just not really anything. I don't know. It's hard really to describe it. It's guessing if I have to have had a few seconds of it. It's not terrible. Um, I just don't think it's a... <coughs> did catch my foot there. I just don't think it's a great white chocolate. It's just, um... Yeah, it's just a bit of a funny one. I can't really describe. I can't really describe it. It's just. I'm just trying to think of a sort of suitable description I can give or an example of it. But if it's just if you, let's say, if it's just if you imagine just a, a cheap white chocolate that would taste, and where well, you might have that sort of white chocolate, you know, um, like maybe on a, a sort of Kinder egg or something. You know, it's just a bit. I don't know, just a bit like not quite there with the white chocolate taste. It's a bit like that, really. Um, it's not, as I say, it's not unpleasant, it's just not really one thing or another. So while, well, say, if you had a Cadbury's White, it might be a bit device, it might have a slight chemical -y taste or whatever. At least it has a, a strong white chocolate taste. Um, whereas this one, I think, just doesn't really have much of a taste. It's not like you're really tasting white chocolate, you're just tasting something, and it has a bit of a taste to it. So, yeah, I think this one definitely um, brought us back down to earth, really, I think. I mean, yeah, what did I even say? Tim, yeah... I think it might have to be, yeah, I think it's probably two and a half out of five, this one, I think. It's just not quite, I'm tempted to give it a three out of five, but I think it is a bit below average, really. Hmm. It's not terrible, but it's definitely distinct over an average white chocolate, I would say. So, a bit of a shame, that one. I think white chocolate's a bit harder to, um, I don't know, I think, I think, I think capture, really, I think is the gist of it. Yeah, and they've just not managed it there, so... <clears throat> Bit of a shame, bit of a shame, but, well, they had two good ones, though. I was impressed with the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. Could have been first chocolate syndrome, you know what I mean? They were the first ones I've had. I've had a few chocolates now, you know what I mean? Does it blow your socks off? That's right, Rick, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly, this is it. <laughs> but a shame, but, I mean, I kind of, I think, I kind of expect, I mean, they've not done too bad, though, those, this range of chocolates. The first two were not too bad, and that one, as I say, um... I think white chocolate's harder to get, you know, to really nail, I think, and uh, yeah, so there we go. Right, so we've got the, um, right, we've got their regular equivalents now of normal chocolate bars as such, you know, the, 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 the sort of the, the, the big three or big four, you might say, um, the Snickers, the Twix, um, the Mars bar, and also the Milky Way we've got here, so yeah, so, so we'll try, um, so here we go with uh, Tesco's one, so, <laughs> it's dreamy caramel this time, so you saw, I think, in Lidl, they just called it caramel bar or something like that. Um, so it looks okay. We could definitely tell it's meant to be a Mars bar. Um, snack size, it says. So, you know, yeah. Best white chocolate. I really like um, Nestle Milky Bar, Rick. I, I think it's really nice. It's better than, you know, um, all these other sort of posh ones and things. I, I really like that. Yeah, Nestle Milky Bar. It's, it's a lovely white chocolate. Sometimes they get it wrong where they did like... Um, um, what was it? A net cookies and cream Milky Bar or something. Well, I think the Milky Bar was okay. I think when he did it in little, uh, I think bite-sized chunks or something, it just tasted, it just did too much of a creamy sense of it. I think the actual bar they did of it was a bit better. But basically, yeah, just general Nestle Milky Bar. I really like it. It's my, I think mean, that's my go-to white chocolate. And, I, and the, the white chocolate bar I love the most um, is Nestle White Chocolate Crunch, 
which got like rice crispy pieces in it. It's it's gorgeous and it's nice. I mean, Nestle milk chocolate's not the best, but the white chocolate one by far is better than the milk chocolate one. It's it's a lovely one. And I, I think you don't do it in the UK anymore. You can still get it in, in mainland Europe, I think. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. That's my favourite white chocolate bar. Yeah, I love that bar. Yeah, how about you? What's your favourite? Yes, yeah, so here we go. Dreamy Cam, as I say. So we've got uh, some shenanigans going on. What's the description? Does it have nougat in it? I think the little one didn't have nougat in the Mars bar. Well, I didn't say it. Soft nougat, uh, topped with smooth caramel and covered with milk chocolate. There we go. Yeah. Does it have palm oil in it? Always want to look for these days. I can't. Yeah, it does. It has palm fat. So you can see that. Palm fat. Got the Rainforest Alliance symbol on this one. We purchased a volume of cocoa. From Rainforest Alliance Certified Farms, equivalent to the volume used in this product. So there we go. So they're doing it in this one. So they have got the Rainforest Alliance symbol. And they are buying Rainforest Alliance Certified Cocoa, but not using it. Well, they're not saying they're using it. So it's, it's stupid, that, isn't it? You know. I won't label the points. I've mentioned it before now, but there we are. Super Vegetarians. Um, anything else? Six times 40 grams bar. Does have the uh, cocoa solids or anything like that? I don't think they do. I can see. It says milk chocolate 40%, but I think that's it. Oh, there we go. Milk solids 14% minimum, cocoa solids 27% minimum. So it's it's in this blurb around there. I'm continuing on to the other side there. Can't see where my finger is now. Yeah, we, do, we don't have loads here actually. We used to Cadbury used to do a dream and then replace it with Cadbury's white. Um, which isn't really well. I I'm not, I can't remember what Dream was like, but it's not quite as good. Um, we do have Lindt, Lindor. There's a few white chocolates. It's not quite as popular. We and it appears it generally appears in sort of chocolate selections and things. But there's a few, I guess. There's a few. Um, some more expensive than others. But as I say, I do quite like the uh, Nestle Milky Bar one, which is a relatively cheap one, but it really works for me. Like Lindt and Lindor. Well, some of them flavour with vanilla as well, like Lindt, Lindor. And Lint often in their ones do it. There's a green and blacks company we have here, which aren't too bad. It's basically Cadbury's upper upper market range, up market range, green and blacks. Um, yeah. Okay, well let's give these an opener. So you can see it looks quite a nice wrapper, but a bit plain. I think I think the uh little ones had a bit of a better wrapper than these ones. Give them an opener, so you can see. <laughs> Where you can see the uh the flourish gap here. Could definitely fit an extra one in. You know what I mean? Look at that, there's this gap here at the side. So it's the, looks a bit oversaturated, but I've changed the colour. But you can see that if I move this one to here, you know what I mean? That space is taken up. You can see it's not quite flat on the plate, but you can still see the difference. So you can see it's the wrap itself. And again, it looks a bit rubbish. Um, I definitely think the little one really had nice, uh, nice packaging. I think they really nailed it. You know, I was very impressed with their packaging. And the, the Mars bar was green for some reason, but so, yeah. Okay, so move these away. Um, they're quite small, it's a snack size. I think the actual full size Mars bar is not too much bigger than these. Um, yeah, got the usual shenanigans on, just says all the ingredients again. So a bit boring rubbish. I think it could look, I think, you know, it could have a better packaging than this. As I say, the little one is really good. Yeah, but looks can be seen, yes, don't judge a book by its cover, that's what they say. <laughs> Let's give this an opener if I can. Let's have a look. It's got the tip, it looks like a Mars bar, it has that same sort of swirly top that Mars bar does. I like the way that Mars bars and uh, Snickers and the other ones have different tops like this. They're just slightly different the uh, way the, the ripples are arranged and things. I mean, I'm not saying it's, you know, I know, they're, I know they're all different. It's not a standard uniform shape, but they're just like, I think the Snickers are horizontal and things or whatever. It's just slightly different. Yeah, and obviously they're copied here. See tie tracks at the bottom, that diamond shape with a bit on the conveyor belt. Let's give a bit of a measure then. Now, of course, I, haven't, I, haven't, I can't remember all what the Mars bar sizes are and little sizes and things. It's just up to do and to see if they shrink and things. So someone, if they ever wanted to know, they can check. About 8 centimetres. And then it's a bit knobbly. Width, about 3.1. And height, again, it's knobbly, so we'll just do it roughly. About 1.8. And the other side, about 1.9 with a sort of 1.96. With the... Uh, Ridges on the top. So I give it a bit of a cut then. Got the trusty knife. See what we're up against. It might squish a bit. So I might hmm, show it from the side, from the top, bottom. Quite tough. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be an abundance of uh, 
Caramel coming through from the top. You can see there's some there, but you can definitely see there's mainly nougat there. Um, you might change as you bite into it. See if we can split away it a bit. Yeah, okay. So I've lifted a bit off here. You can see, so there's quite a lot of caramel actually. It's just deceptive. Um, there's quite a lot there. But when you looked at it, didn't seem to be much, did there? But I think it's all held inside the top of the chocolate. But there definitely is quite, I think there's enough there for sure. Hmm. Smells a bit like a Mars bar. Oop. All right, well, does it taste like one? Let's, uh, let's find out. <laughs> uh, we're not really any more um, hands. We're, we're sort of, um, it's a bit better, basically. We, can, we can't we can do social distancing. We have to do social distancing and things. Um, but we're not in lockdown anymore. We can go shopping and the shops are starting to open. We've had quite a relatively good vaccination um, stuff going on. So, yeah, so we're actually... Um, not doing too bad here at the moment, yeah. Um, fingers crossed. But obviously, we've only just let people go out and about, so it might change at any point because things start getting bad again. So, but so far, so good. Yeah, how are things where you are? Is everything uh, going okay? Henry Bars in the UK. Henry Bars? Um, they sound... F I don't... Oh, Henry. I, no, we don't, basically. We might. I feel, I feel like I've heard of them before or seen them maybe in an input shop, but no, we don't. Are they nice? What type of things are they? Yeah. Nah, really, yeah. Yeah, shame has. Have you been, how long has it been now? Okay, let's give this a taste then. Let's see what it's like. Is it like a Mars bar? Is it as good? Let's do it. Hmm. 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 Hmm, not bad. Hmm. Not bad, really. Um, I think it's, um, Mars bars for me, the bars that need to be refrigerated, they just taste better refrigerated. So these haven't been refrigerated, but so they're quite soft. Um, I think it just hardens them up, brings out some more of the flavour of the nougat when it's when it's refrigerated. I don't know why that is, but it's not bad. You can see there's lots of caramel there, like we sort of thought there wasn't, but there is. Um, there's lots of nougat, but it's not too bad. I don't think it's too dissimilar to no Mars bar. It doesn't seem to have any odd flavours. I think the little one had a bit of a, a slight different flavour. This one doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. Hmm. Mars bars for me are not great bars. They're kind of quite, um, hmm. An average bar, I think you'd say. <clears throat> Maybe slightly above average, but I don't know. Hmm. This one, it's not bad. It gives that flavour of a Mars bar, I'd say. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't mind them at all. I mean, this is quite good. I don't know. I say Mars bars for me are nothing uh, an amazing bar. I think it definitely tastes better refrigerated. Um. I think this isn't too bad. What's the calories on this one? I don't remember saying the calories, actually. Did I even say them? Yeah, it doesn't really have them. It has them on the bottom. It says per 100 grams sold, 465 calories, so quite high. Um, I'd say well over the 500, 550. 19 grams of fat, 19.1 grams of fat, 11.1 of which are saturates. And each bar's 40 grams, so you basically took 40% of that. Hmm. Yeah, so about 200 and... Mm. About 210 calories something per bar or something like that. But just so you can see that, I'll try and lift it up. So it focuses in on that. There we go. <clears throat> there we go, yeah. This is not too bad. I'm just making a mess. Um, I quite like that. I quite like that. That was pretty good. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see, Camel Nougat type covered in chocolate. Google, I'll have a look. I will have a look. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's like a Snickers bar. Is it quite like some Snickers? Well, um, hmm. is it similar to a Snickers, Enric? Sounds like it might be. Love Mars. <laughs> Don't like nuts like Snickers. Well, I'm not a big fan of Snickers. Well, sorry, I'm not a big fan of peanuts, but I actually quite like Snickers for some reason. I like the chew in them. I don't know why. I'm not a big peanut person at all, but sometimes they just seem to work. Hi, B. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, I, you, you've had Wi-Fi trouble as well. Hans was saying he had Wi-Fi trouble. I've had internet trouble today. I think I don't know what it is. Maybe the whole country's having it. I'm not sure. <laughs> How are the Molly's bars? Um, I have to have the dark chocolate. Very cheap. The dark, I liked it. Yeah, dark chocolate was nice, and the milk chocolate was good. The, the white chocolate was the uh, disappointing one. I felt, but the milk and dark chocolate, the white milk chocolate had a bit of a licorice taste to it. It was nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was well. It was very similar to us, Rick. I don't know if it was the same one, and uh, one of us is misremembering. But uh, it, what I remember it was Amaza Day helps you work, rest, and play. That was what it was here. Yes, <laughs> but maybe it was yes, yeah, slightly different for you. But for here, it was Amaza Day help helps you work, rest, and play. Yeah, so honestly, an interesting one. More nuts than Henry. I feel like a mm, yeah. I'll look out for them. We'll have a check of that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so not too bad this one. I actually didn't mind it. I thought it tastes just like a Mars bar. I think if you like Mars bars, this is definitely a good alternative. It tastes exactly the same as far as I can tell. I need to have it refrigerated for myself. Um, I think refrigerated is probably a four. I'm going to say three and a half out of five. I enjoyed that. A nice amount of stuff. Just a good, solid representation of a Mars bar. Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to slightly uh, clean the chocolate off my plates. <laughs> The other ones before didn't leave much uh, chocolate mess, but these ones with caramel and things are a bit more uh, susceptible to doing so. Not too bad that, I enjoyed that one. I think they did a good job. I can't remember what the little one gave was. Um, it's a hard one to be consistent over the weeks really, because obviously it just depends sometimes. But I think I probably gave it around the same, I think. Um, well, it could be I'm misremembering as well, Rick. I mean, you know, it's one of those, you, you think you, yeah, I don't know. But it could be slightly different. You never know, they do slightly do differences, you know what I mean? Uh, so it could be different for both of us to just use a similar thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, more peanuts. Um, yeah, see, well, I'll have to check that out, Henry. It sounds, like, it sounds like a funny name for a bar. <laughs> well, speaking of the peanut one, we'll get it out of the way, shall we? Yes, here we go. It's a Snickers equivalent. Nutty Nougat Caramel. So the other one was, what was the one called? Dreamy Caramel. So rather than Nutty Dreamy Caramel, it's Nutty Nougat Caramel. I like the Nougat taste in Snickers as well. In the official one there. Um, I like that that the new guy just tastes nicer than the Mars black one for me as well. I nailed it. Ah right, okay. <laughs> oh well, thanks, Rick. Well yes. I mean there was one thing the other day though that I did, I was sure I'd remembered correctly and I hadn't and I can't think what it was now. Um it is one of those, yeah, where you think you might you know you can remember something and then yeah, what was it that I I can't, I can't remember what it was now. Um but never mind. But yeah, so it's one of those um what was the other um hmm. I feel like there's another slogan that I can't remember. I was trying to think of them, but I can't think what it was now either. But never mind. So yeah, <laughs> it's about the only thing I can remember. I think was that slogan, and it seems. <laughs> there you go, T Tesco um, nutty nougat caramel snack size. So it's a snack size again. I don't really know why they're saying that. I think they just might be trying to say it's smaller than the regular Mars bar. But they are still forty gram bars, which is not too small. Um, so we've got the same shenanigans again. Does it have the? Uh, Soft nougat bars topped with smooth caramel and peanuts covered in milk chocolate. It's got palm fat in it. Cocoa solids 27% minimum. Milk solids 14% minimum. Two vegetarians. This one, it doesn't seem to be saying that these they get there. Oh, yes, they do, yeah. So it's got the same Rainforest Alliance thing here. It's saying we purchase a volume of cocoa from Rainforest Alliance farms equivalent to what's used in this product. And what do they do with it, as I say every time? Bin it? Who knows? Um, so it seems a bit stupid, that. So it does actually give you the one bar calories so it didn't do it on the uh, Mars bar one that's it's just this is just updated wrapping wrappers or something um we can see a per 100 grams it focuses in 503 calories 27.5 grams of fat 11.6 of which are saturates and per bar 201 calories 11 grams of fat 4.6 of which are saturates <coughs> that's me oh, that's me just sneezing that um yeah, I think the per 100 grams was a bit more than the Mars bar one. Yeah, 465, so you're probably talking, um, yeah, a bit more calories in that one than in the, in the Mars bar ones. Yeah, yeah, it's typical, isn't it? Yes, I, I'd, I'd type it in to look myself now, but my keyboard's unfortunately um, <laughs> a bit far away and uh, I might knock everything over to try and grab it, So, which I did do one point in the past. Not not when I was live, fortunately, but when I was um, filming something. So <laughs> I won't risk it, but I will check. I will check it out. <laughs> in fact, I will try and do it now. Why not? Um, let's have a look. Um, let's have a see. Let me check the... Get the... Oh, Henry, let's have a look. I'll just grab my keyboard. Oof. Wait. Try and be careful not to say not to knock things over. Let's see. Ah yes, okay, yes, I can see it does look, yeah. So it's a bit like a sort of taller Snickers, isn't it, by the looks of it? Yeah, I see. Yeah, an interesting one, that one, interesting one, yes. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I could try and um yeah. 
Let's see, can I uh, somehow save it and show you? I'm trying to see now. I've got different, various different pictures of it. <laughs> so let's see if I can. Uh, let's have a look, see if I can save it somewhere. Um, yeah, I might be able to add it to the screen now. Let's have a look. Let's see, I'll just put the. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, image. I have to kind of navigate to it, you know what it's like. Yeah, let's have a look. I can never find my uh, pictures for some reason. You've got those pictures folders and things like this. I can never, I seem to end up in the wrong place. Let's see. We'll be able to see, if, see if you can see this. There you go. There you are. Can you see that? So, Henry. Oop. Gave him the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, there we are. Can you see that? <laughs> I think you can probably see it. There we go. Well, there we are, yes. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Yeah, well, as you say, well, sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter if uh, what the cost is, you know what I mean? So yes, there we are. <laughs> so there we go, an interesting one. Yeah, not, as I say, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if I've heard of them before or not. Um, the name sounds familiar, but it could be something else. Um, hi, Lee, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, you voted for Didi Lee. Oh, yes, yes. Thanks for voting, by the way. Thanks for voting. Yeah, I did win. I, well, it was a close. It was relatively close, I think, but it did win by. Having said that, it did win by a margin, so I guess it wasn't that close. But yeah, <laughs> but there was a good few votes going out there. Yeah, so oh, thank you for that. Yes, I try and um. Yeah, I'll probably do a few more of those. I'll say if you uh, if you miss the votes or whatever, you have to you have to click on the notification bell, um, next to the subscribe option on my um page. So yeah, and then because I I do some sort of votes and stuff every now and again, or just little posts. So if you don't see them, uh, you might not get the notification. So I'll say check click the bell. Next to um, next to on my homepage, basically next to where it says subscriber, you know, or unsubscriber, I guess, because you've subscribed already. Um, right, so let's have a look at these then, shall we? See what they're like compared to sneakers. But good to see you, Lee. How's things going? Hope everything's going okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, I thought I think the thing is we've done little about for two weeks in a row, so I think people might want. To, although they're interested, they probably thought, well, we'll do something a bit different as well. <laughs> yeah. Pack of four for them as well, yeah, pack of four. Oh, Henry. Yeah, this is really good for someone you know who's called Henry as well. <laughs> okay, let's give these an open then. It's the same problems, I think, as the ones, I imagine. We could fit an extra bar inside. Inside this, I've not opened it very well. At all. <laughs> but, uh, essentially, what are the flourishes? There will be room for an extra one, so I'll just move it slightly to the edge. So you can see <clears throat> there we go. So you can see there's space there for basically another one. So you can fit an extra bar in there. We do get six of them. So again, it's got the sort of pretty much boring. I mean, I say little do beat these hands down with the with the wrappers. You know, it's just it's a bit of a boring name. It looks pretty boring here. Um, yeah, I think little made a good attempt at doing their but their, um, their packaging. Um, yeah. Yeah, nice one, AB. Yes, I remember you saying you had a bit of trouble with it, but glad you found it. Yeah, was it the bell in the end, AB? I hope it was, because otherwise I've no idea. If there's more options, then it's a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a little bell icon, I think, next to the subscribe option. Yeah. Looks like quite a big extra package. Yeah, there is a bit, really. There is a bit. It doesn't look as good as, um, as I say, as uh, as littles either. Now it's a bit it's a bit flat inside the wrapper, so we can't really hold the these flourishes against it, but you can still see they are there. Okay, let's give it a bit of an open then. So we'll see uh what I mean about the difference with the, the top. I mean it is about the same actually it doesn't look much different this one. Hmm. I'm sure the difference uh Yeah it's not a bit the same actually as the half bit I didn't eat before. Well Mars bars and Snickers they do have a different top but this one looks to be the same there's the, the Mars bar or whatever one they did, or their own Mars bar, Dreamy Cam or whatever it's called. So it's barely about the same size, but we'll make sure it's all the same. Let's see, it's a bit knobbly. That's 7.9. And so there are some knobbles and jutty out bits, so it would go down a bit if we go in between those. But only not much actually. Yeah, it's about that. And the width, as it's wide at the bottom, it seems. That's 3.1. 3.13. And the height, I say there are some weird fins on the top. 1.8, but if I measure it where there is no fin, it's down to about 1.7. Let's give it another cut. Right. 
I'm very excited about this one actually. I mean, I was never too bothered about Snickers, Mars, and things, but I've even had these of own brand ones recently. They're not too bad bars, you know, they're not too bad. A tough one to cut. You can see here that the way the peanuts have held the caramel to be a bit more prominent this time, as last in the Mars bar one, it was kind of held up inside the chocolate a bit. Hopefully, if it uh, desaturates or whatever, we get a bit of. <laughs> not sure, maybe it's the plate to move that out of the way. Yeah, a bit better that, isn't it? Still a bit bright. Not really sure. There you go. It's, it's slowly sorting itself out a bit. You can I think, yeah, the gist of it there, can't you? The red in there. You can see some red bit. I think that's must, must be the skin from the peanuts is in there. I think you can see those red bits on the side. I hope it's one. It looks a bit, looks a bit too red, doesn't it? Hmm. No. See those red bits there, sort of. I think it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's peanut skin or whatever. But it does look quite red, especially that one in the bottom left. Hmm. I don't think it's from a knife, because I said the knife has got a red handle, but I didn't touch it with the handle. Um, they're very small to see though in person, and we're zoomed up quite closely. You can't, you can't, you can barely even see those bits. So I really don't know what they are. Um, hmm. Very distinctly red, this one in this bottom left corner here, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say when you look at it in person, you, you can barely see that. It's really tiny. So yeah, a bit of an odd one, that. Yeah. Just because you like peanuts, yeah, you're a peanut fan, yes. I think, uh, I think Rick was saying he's not a fan of the peanuts, yes. <laughs> I'm not a fan of peanuts, but just for some reason, Snickers and Co. Um, I do like them and Reese's as well. They just seem to work for me. I don't know why. I, I say, well, I don't mind peanuts for it, but I don't go for them generally. I don't, I said, I well, you know, so they didn't like them, so I think, I don't, I don't particularly, I'm not fond of them, I guess, but, um, but there's something about, you know, so normally I wouldn't go for things like Snickers and other peanutty type things, but just for some reason, Snickers, they just, it's just the chew of them, you know, and like the Nougat, I think, the way the Nougat is slightly different, you can see it's a different colour than the Mars one, um, hopefully, it's like a lighter Nougat, and I prefer the, the Nougat in there, in Snickers as well. I want to use, I think, in Mars Dark, I think, when you do that, the dark version of Mars, which I really like. But okay, let's give this a taste. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes just like a Snickers. Mmm. It's got that nice sort of nougat-y taste that's a bit better than the Mars one. Mmm. Same amount of, um... Yeah, everything, really. I mean, for me, these definitely taste better refrigerated as well. It just gives them more of a chew. Um, when they're not refrigerated, they're just a bit softer, really. And I think it really raises the bar by... It raises the bar. <laughs> raises the taste of the bar by half a mark, for sure, half a star. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's undiscernible from stickers. I found that the little ones, there were slight differences. But these Tesco ones, um, they taste basically spot on. Um, hmm. Yeah, I must say they're exactly the same as far as I can tell. Mm. Obviously, those ones did have sort of seemingly peanut, you know, um, sort of skins or whatever I think you'd say um, in them. Um, assuming that's what it was. Snickers might do as well. I've not reviewed them for a while and zoomed up that close with the same camera, so there is a chance Snickers do as well. But um, yeah, mm. Snickers and Twix, you say? Hmm. Yes. There is, a, there is a peanut butter, I mean, it's uh, Twix, but I know it's not quite the same thing. Hmm. But I know what you mean. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so you're a big, yes, you're a big <laughs> peanut. Sorry, Joe. Yes, I forgot to mention it. was actually you who mentioned it before. Yes. Um, yeah, I think I think um, I might have accidentally said A, B, so sorry about that, as if I did. But yes, um, yeah, Joe, yeah, I think uh, these ones definitely, you know, I, I do, I, I, something about peanuts sometimes just seems to work in some of the chocolate uh, bars. I don't know, I'll say Snickers is one, Reese's is another, and they just really work well. And peanut butter in Kit Kat Chunky, although I know it's not quite the same. Um, hmm, but really nice, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Jaff, I said it was A, but you know, yes, I'm going crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Snickers and Twix, combination of those two, yeah, it would be interesting, that one. Um, hmm, I'm just trying to think if I've ever seen one. Um, I know I've seen, um, I say peanut butter twigs, but I didn't know actually have peanuts in it, so yeah, hmm. That would be an interesting one. I'm surprised they haven't done it actually, like you say, because they are the same company. Um, 
Let's get the peanut butter tweaks from. Well, you usually have to go for an import site, really. Um, yeah, some places like um, I think it's GB Gifts. I think is one online, and Amazon will sell them, and eBay, of course, you know, but they're sort of direct from sellers or whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's the gist of it. I think GB Gifts is perhaps a good one, but if you search online for it, you should find other ones as well. I can't quite think of the other ones. Um, yeah, um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. But yeah, they're basically international imports. It's, I don't know if it's worth it, really. I did have it, and um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I think... Worth trying, but I'm not sure if it was that if it was that great. Um, I think I do have one actually. I might have it to yeah to review again. I think, but um, can't remember. Mm. I know M and M's have a peanut one as well, the peanut butter one as well, Lee. So yeah, mm. I think you have to uh, peanut butter one. So you have to import that one as well. But yeah, not too bad this one. I think it's basically um, as I say, I think refrigerated. These ones are where it's at. You've got to refrigerate. In my eyes, um, a Snickers and a, and a, a Mars bar. I just think you had half a mark for those. So I think. Without that one, um, I think this one's spot on. This is exactly the same as the regular Twix, uh, sorry, the regular Snickers and the regular Mars bar, both of these. So they're very impressed with that. Um, I think the buy service is a three and a half out of five, I think. I think bump it up to a four, though, if you have it refrigerated. Um, I think it's the gist of it, so for sure. It just gives it that m far more better chew to it. And it just, I don't know, it just seems to taste better as well. Can't describe it, but it does. And often when you're buying from them, um, um, Vending machines are refrigerated because they get too warm otherwise, and, uh, and, uh, and yeah, so you might be quite used to having them cold, and they're so much better, they really are. I've always got a place for a, a Snickers because it's quite, even though it's quite small, it's just really substantial, you know, it's just really, just it just it's really, you know, there's just a lot to it. Um, do do do, do Tesco do any own brand M and M's flavors? I don't believe so, AB. I've not seen them. Um, I don't think I've never seen many. Well, maybe they do. I've never seen any own brands, the equivalents of M&M's, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> and I guess it's more complicated for them to do, perhaps. And maybe it's, I don't know why. Um, but I've never seen, yeah, I haven't seen those. Yeah, it'll be interesting why they don't. I don't know why they don't. They seem to just do Twix, Snickers, um, Mars, and sometimes Milky Way. Well, speaking of Twix, uh, Twix, yes, we've got one here. <laughs> Although it's not called Twix, it's called Crunchy Caramel. So this was definitely where the little one really veered off. Uh, went left field from the regular Twix. It had a real, the biscuit was just nothing like a proper Twix. I think when I had it later after the event, it wasn't quite so bad. Oh, that's a point, Jow, by the way. Oh, I forgot to say, the um, the little big taste one we did with peanuts uh, last week, I gave it a three and you said three and a half. I think you were right. It should have been a three and a half, actually. I think I was overly harsh on that one. So, yeah, you were right, Jow. Three and a half for that one last week, the peanut one. Um, not the hazelnut one, the peanut one. That was actually, it was quite like a Snickers, but not quite, a bit too creamy. But it was still nice. And um, after the event, I thought, you know what? Jab was right with that one. Yeah, so. Yes. Yes, the new puppets. I've seen um, I've seen hints of them. Yeah, is it, is it like, yeah, is it basically like an assorted buy? I need to get some of those. I'm surprised it took them so long to do it, really. Um, own brand Revels, though, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just too complicated for them, maybe. I don't know, really. I'm sure they could still do it, because it's not like this isn't complicated to make. Um, but yeah, there we go. But yeah, I reckon you were right with that one, Joe. Yes, it was, but it was still, you know, I just think after the event when I had a bit more of it, it, it was, it worked quite well actually. But um, so I think three and a half was probably about right. <laughs> yes, I think you're right with that one. There you go. So this one definitely looks like a Twix. It's got the same sort of gold colour to it. I think you're definitely not mistaken. I mean, you were really mistaken the others for a Twix, but this one for sure. <laughs> So it's got the same shenanigans going on. It's got talk of Rainforest Alliance, and we use um, the volume of it, um, equivalent to the volume used in this product. You purchase a, a volume of it equivalent to the what's used in this product, so it's, what does that mean? Are they just binning it? Um, does it have um, palm oil in it? I think it probably does. Palm fat, there we go. Uh, then you've got cocoa sides. Cocoa, um, cocoa sides, 27% uh, minimum. Milk sides, 14% minimum, there we go. Do you have any calories information on there? Seems that some of them seem to not really have decent calorie information. Only the Snickers one did. Um, it's got five times forty-two gram bars. It's got the same amount, I think. The other ones, the other ones had six, didn't they? Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Do you have any calorie information? There we are. Typical values: two hundred grams of salt, five hundred three calories, twenty-five point seven grams of fat, so we saturate it's fifteen point one. There we go. And each one is 42, so it's about to say 40% of that, or just under, about under half, basically. 
Um, so you're talking probably about 200 calories again for, for one of them, something like that. Well, let's uh, go down a bit. So again, it's got the sort of packaging looks a bit uninspired. I definitely, as I say, Lidl really did, despite the lack of imagination on the actual naming of the bars, I think the actual packaging, the, uh, they did re get really pretty well done. I was quite impressed with it. As I say, Tesco, not so much. <laughs> okay, it's just uh, just the... In the end, can we get a video? Oh, too far down. Okay, there we are, right. Okay, let's give these an open then. Let's see. Okay, there we go, open the letter. It always comes with like a cardboard tray, the Twix ones. I guess it's to stop them snapping. Unless they've been, uh, must have been known to snap. You can see there they come in this cardboard tray. And again, the wrapper is a bit rubbish, isn't it? I mean, look at it. You know, it's, a, it's a even more worse, actually, this one. It looks really, you know, I mean, compared to, as I say, the ones that, Lid all do. They're so much worse, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it is, boy. It's, yeah, it's not quite as gold. I think it's more of a brown, isn't it? It's like a murky gold. Yeah. As I was saying, the, the little ones were so much nicer. They just had a nice taste. Even though the, the, it was called something like, I don't know, stick of caramel or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, it, it actually looked, it looked really good. They'd actually made enough. It had the same picture on the, on the on this sort of mini packet than they had on the front, you know, and, and the bit they had on the front was better than that. Um, these Tesco ones are just a bit terrible, really. Okay, so you can see it's two fingers, um, quite small though, um, for sure. Yeah, I'll say the. I guess it's quite scrunched up anyway. Inside here, um, could you fit another one in the packaging? Let's have a look. Hard for me to do this one because I've kind of ripped it a bit. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see. Okay, probably can do it now. So you probably can is the short answer. <laughs> Almost certainly can, usually can. Some chocolates appeared in this one. I don't know where it's come from. Um, hmm. Got some chocolate in here. I don't think this is from. I think this is a. Uh, that's a bit weird. I thought this had dropped in there, but it couldn't have done. So I think this has been, I don't know, it's got some like waste chocolate in here that's presumably fell out of another another packet somewhere. That's a bit poor, isn't it? I thought it was for me, but that's that's not a Twix or a, you know, it's not the um, Mars or the Snickers version. Yeah, it's that biscuit that, so yeah, a bit rubbish that. Um, okay, so yeah, you can clearly see there's enough space here for another one. You know, yeah. So they could easily fit another one in. I know they, they, they sort of crimp it at the end and stuff, but even so, they could still do it. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, basic packaging. They do look quite small. I mean, Twix is, are still smaller than you'd think, but they do look a lot smaller. They do say the snack size on the front. Um, but they do look, um, yeah, they do look a lot smaller, for sure. But I do think Twixes have got shrunk a lot more. I don't think they've shrunk this much. But yeah, a bit poor with the uh, quality control there, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> a road part of Twitch. Yeah, you got some extra then, I guess. So, <laughs> really, you realise it could fit more in. But, uh, yeah, let's have a see. Yeah, so it's almost like I think Twix is probably a third more of this, I think. I just was watching my old Twix review actually from you know, doing the uh, look back with video. Um, and I did mention that a Twix was probably, it looked to be around three of the celebration sizes, whereas this one looks to definitely be about two, doesn't it? So, yeah. These ones definitely do look a lot smaller. I think the Mars and Snickers one they did were not that far away from the full size, but these ones definitely look a lot smaller. Um, I think they are smaller than the uh, little ones as well, which I think were 50-odd grams, whereas these ones are only 42. So it does imply, yeah, definitely shrinkage. Eight centimetres there. In length. In the width, 2.3. In the height... Around 1.4. Okay. Yeah. Road Twix. <laughs> okay, let's give it a bit of a chop. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's what you'd expect. Um, I think you can say. So the camera's going a bit crazy, but we'll try and sort it. There we go. Yeah, a bit of camera at the top, biscuit, covered in chocolate. So, yeah. 
This is what you expect, really. I'm not sure, I can't say for sure what the, if the proportions are any different than the regular Twix. They look to be about the same. Nothing standing out really has been any any worse. So what does it taste like? Well, I think that's uh, proofs in the pudding, like they say. Proofs in the Twix. <laughs> Just get the this is back all right. Okay, there we go. Right, let's give it a go. Got a bit here. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I like the other one where the um hmm. Where the biscuit was just like you know, with the, the sort of their own biscuit that they'd use, you know, like a regular biscuit. <laughs> this one again tastes just like a Twix. I mean, I don't think if the biscuit tastes slightly different, but um hmm. Has a bit of a taste to it, a bit of a fruity taste to it almost, I think, but I'm not sure if that's different than the regular Twix, it might be the same, it has a sort of, I don't know, hmm, yeah, something about it, hmm, hmm, but I feel like it's the same, but it just feels like it's got something there to it that maybe a Twix doesn't normally have, but not really in a bad way this time, it doesn't taste like another type of biscuit that's, you know, hmm, pretending to be a Twix biscuit, hmm, or well, it's been used instead of, you know, yeah, Hmm. Although I said that it is a bit, it is a bit as fruity. It's got something a bit sort of, I don't know, buttery about it, fruity. But I'm not sure. So it might imply it's slightly different. But um, for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much the same. The Twix one and the little one was radically. It was the one that really stood out as being different. Whereas as I say here, it's hmm. It tastes good. It has a bit of a, as I say, a bit of a sort of. I can describe it as like a fruity taste, really. It's a bit of an, a bit of an odd one, but I would say it's probably about the same. Um, as about a Twix to hand, you know. Um, I don't think it's a bad taste. It doesn't taste like it's a sort of cheaper biscuit or anything like that. It just tastes, I don't know. Hmm. You could say maybe a bit of a butterier biscuit, maybe, if anything. So maybe it does taste slightly more buttery. But I don't know. As I say, it's a bit of a weird combination between buttery and fruity taste, I think. Hard to describe. But not too bad, actually. Yeah. I think Twix is one that perhaps doesn't taste better in the fridge. It tastes different. It tastes a bit more substantial, a bit harder. I don't know if it tastes better in the fridge. Um, so this one, yeah, I think it's not too bad. I think it's probably about the same as regular Twix. I quite like regular Twixes. I like the... Because I've always got room for them. They're just this sort of nice bar with the different tastes and textures. You know, they've got a, the biscuit in there. They've got the caramel. They've got the chocolate. Um, again, you know, as, as Rick says before, <laughs> not going to blow your socks off. Um, <laughs> No, he's paraphrasing me, but um, I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think a Twix is a four out of five. I think, again, it's another three and a half. But I think this is a good, uh, you know, I think this is uh, pretty much identical to the regular Twix. It's really nice. Um, I think Tesco here, I don't know if they are just literal rebrands of Twixies or whatever, but, the, you know, I, I find that hard to, you know, and, the Mar and um, Snickers and uh, Mars bars. I find it hard to believe, really, because I feel like Lidl would have done exactly that as well. And those, those were distinctly different, um, if subtly in some areas, more so in the Twix area. Um, so I think Tesco have done a really good job here. They really do taste like the subject matter. You know, I think the Twix one might be slightly different in the biscuit, but ever so slightly, to the point where it's, just, it's, not, it's not any worse for it. Um, yeah. I think if you're allowed, if I see all these chocolate bars are based on a quite average -y chocolate bars. I do have a room in my life generally for Snickers and Twixes. I think just when refrigerated, um, especially with Snickers, I just find it's a real substantial chew. Um, you like crunch in the fridge, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, there is that AB. I think it, it, it doesn't make it worse anyway, that's for sure. I, I, I think for me it doesn't make it ma massively better, but I do find... Um, I know what you mean. It gives it more of a substance, I think. I think generally these ones, like you say, it gives it more of a chew. Uh, I'm definitely not against it, for sure. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely not against it. I think sometimes in my experience it's just been too too bitey, I think, um, sometimes. But it depends on the, the temperature of your fridge, I guess. Um, I've had them from the vending machine at work, I think, and, um, and it wasn't too refrigerated there. So, yeah, you know, that's how I would normally have had it as well, and I wasn't against that. So, yeah, hmm. Definitely not a bad thing, I don't think, AP, so I can agree with you there. <laughs> just give, it just gives it more substance. It lasts a bit longer when they've been refrigerated as well. Yeah, so I think, you know, you could pass bump... I'd, I'd be a bit more reluctant to myself, I think, to bump it up half a mile, but AB definitely would, by the sounds of it. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe you could say four out of five for um, if you refrigerated that one. But I'll say these ones, they are a bit smaller than the regular Twix, so there is that. And little, they were a bit bigger. So there is that. Um, 
there is that. I don't know what to make of that, really. You do get less of them in the pack as well. You get five as opposed to six. So that's something to bear in mind. And when I say that, that's against the other Tesco products. Um, but that could be the case with the regular Twix in the multi-pack um, things anyway. They give you less than they do with the Marses and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not sure. But the salted caramel Twix, the one that's the official Twix, that's where it's at for me. I would definitely go for that one. I really like that one. That was really nice. Yeah, really nice. And yeah, Leaf, you're still there. Um, salted caramel Twix. Get that one. That's it's fantastic, honestly. <laughs> fantastic. Obviously, um, it's just it just works really well. I'm not a massive salty caramel person, but that salty caramel Twix was really nice. Um, okay, so I'll just pour some stuff off. Making good progress today. Not too bad. Yes, I've done quite about six. What are we on? Half past five. Not too bad. I've done six products so far. I think this is the seventh one. Yes, I made some. Um, I think normally it's because we do the chocolate selections. They just take a long time because there's so many different chocolates and things. But here we go. We've got the uh, the equivalent now. Yeah, basically Milky Way Cosmic Whip. Eight of them. Yeah. So when if you remember when I was younger, um, basically Milky Ways came in like a blue wrapper, and um, similar to this sort of colour blue, the darker blue, um, on this side here, uh, maybe a bit darker than that actually. And it, and the, the inside was like um, a, a, rather than this white fluff, it was a darker fluff as well. And he changed it to have a white wrapper, which he was still around today pretty much, um, and the white inside. Um, but then he released, there was another bar that was released, but I think about the same thing called The Flight, and it came in, Milky, Milky Way is coming like a single bar, but The Flight came in a double bar, and it was in two of them. And they were the old Milky Ways, basically. You can't get flights anymore, which is a shame, but um, yeah. Mm. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, AB, thank you, yes. <laughs> Getting through them, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you wouldn't believe, I mean, you know, I need to start doing more reviews. The thing is as well, because I'm doing some more different types of things like the um, the, pre the premieres, stash watch, you know, um, um, and what's the other thing, and look backs and things like that. It's actually, I'm doing a few less reviews a week as well. So I've got all the chocolate to review, but I'm doing one or two less reviews every week, unfortunately. So yes, yeah, so it's kind of, <laughs> it's a double-edged sword, all this stuff, but um, get there in the end, I'm sure. So I might need to start, yeah, I think on Thursday, because the... Um, the look back and, and and the premieres, they take a very long time to do with all the images and then having to manipulate them on. You just take a long time to do. You're talking, I've, I've got to film them, which can take about half an hour to an hour. Then I've got to edit it, um, which, which generally takes about an hour and a half, um, depending on it really. And then I've got all the, get all the images, which adds another, you know, it can depend on I'm doing it, if I'm editing it, if I have to edit the images, it takes another hour. If I just have to put them into the editing software, that adds about an hour to the um, to the editing process as well. So you're talking about four hours, five hours to do those videos. They take a long time. <laughs> so that's why on Thursday I couldn't do a review as well because I just didn't have the time. Um, yes, yeah, so it's one of those. So the way it goes, isn't it? But you know, it's one of those. I you know I enjoy doing it. I enjoy the channel things, but obviously, yes, it does take some time, <laughs> especially when you've been working all day as well. Honestly, well, there we go. We get there in the end. <laughs> Right, so yes, Cosmic Whips, yeah, eight of these ones. We've got the same shenanigans going on. I say, I don't want to labour it too much, but we need to mention it. Um, there's some chocolate there, I thought it would... Uh, seems to got like a chocolate um, trail coming off them, a bit like comets. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so obviously they are basically Milky Ways, aren't they? But trying to not pretending too much not to be them. We've got the Rainforest Alliance shenanigans there. So we purchased a volume of cocoa from Rainforest Alliance Certified Farms, equivalent to the volume used in this product. But as I say, what do they do with it? Just bin it, who knows? Doesn't say. Um, it's got palm fat in it. Uh, milk, cocoa size 27% minimum, milk size 14% minimum. And it's, uh, what is it, it's in the bottom there? 8 times 22 grams, 176 uh, grams in total. In calories, do we have that? I think we do, but again, it's done in the way it only tells you per 100 grams. So this is only the Snickers ones, I didn't tell you that for some reason. Don't know why it was. Uh, I lost my hand now. Milk, milk chocolate, thirty-nine <laughs> percent. I think it's large, you know, that makes. I'm sure it's just fats in the middle of the Milky Way. I'm sure I read somewhere it was just it was just large, basically. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if that's officially true, but or it's a variant of it. But so per hundred grams, uh, four hundred fifty-four calories. So this is even higher than we've kind of gone up. We've flukily gone up higher every time. So this is even over the four hundred to four fifty threshold. Uh, 60, oh no, it's 500 to 550, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's actually a lot less. I'm oh, sorry, yes, this is a lot less, actually. Not bad per 100 grams. Fat, 16 grams of fat, of which saturates 9.5. Yeah, there we go. So a lot less, actually, these ones per 100, per 100 grams. 
think I did make that mistake with the last one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Not too bad. We're taking to reviews, is that right? Yes. <laughs> Nearly there. I know. I can't believe I've done so many, really. Honestly, it's, it's a ridiculous amount. And, uh, you know, I think one review one time, I think the, the Skittles Giants was getting, I got advertising revenue, about £5 from it. Um, now, normally I get nothing like that. I think it was because it was, because basically in America, if the Americans watch my videos, I don't know why it's specifically American. It might be Canada as well, Rick. I'm not sure, but it specifically mentioned America in the stats. For some reason, the advertising revenue is a lot higher, ridiculously a lot more higher than, um, than than revenue from people watching from the UK. I don't know why that is. No idea. But for some reason, I got about five pounds, I think, um, one month from the Skittles one. And um, normally, I get about fifty p at most, or maybe a pound at most from videos. I know the only ones that have recently been published. Um, so if every one of my videos got five pounds, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? But it doesn't happen normally. It's, you know, I only get, I typically get between 30 to 50 pounds. Well, say, around, say, average 40 pounds a month, basically, from this channel. You know, that's including everything. Um, you know, yes, um, that's from the channel itself. Um, I know Rick made a, a nice donation to me, so thank you so much again for that, Rick. Really appreciate it, it truly was, uh, separately, so I'm not counting that. Um, but yeah, so it's one of those, but yeah, so basically, you know, but maybe one day, you never know, my channel could just explode, <laughs> who knows, and then all my videos, all the backlog, so that's getting thousands of review, uh, thousands of uh, views and stuff like that. <laughs> But who knows? I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not holding my breath. Let's put it that way. But it doesn't matter. I mean, if that happens, then great. But that's not. You know, I've been doing it for five years now, and clearly, you know, it's it's taken a long time just to get to where I am now. Uh, and I wouldn't say I'm. You know, it's only recently really been sort of giving me any kind of return. Never mind. You know, nothing. So I'm clearly not doing it for that. You know, I'm doing it to enjoy it and things. And you know, it's it's one of those. Hopefully. It's only got, I feel like it's only going to continue to grow. I mean, I got um, last year, last August, I think it was, last September, I had 1,000 subscribers, and I've got 1,410, I think, at the moment, um, you know, which is a massive increase in just that, in just one year compared to the fact that I had five years previous of, you know. So who knows? So another another five years or another year could just, you know, I think I've, I've just heard on some channels, sometimes all of a sudden people just get tons of tons of subscribers and things. It can just really... It just depends on how YouTube view it. I think if YouTube or someone tweets a video or something, um, and they've got a lot of followers, it can just happen. I think. I think that's. I think that's what can happen. It can just depend. I think, or it can just depend on YouTube's algorithm. I don't know. But yeah, eight hundred reviews. <laughs> Crackers, really. <laughs> but yes. Um, okay. So yes, let's zoom down and look at this one now. Just uh, wash my knife a bit. Um, let's have a go. Yes, there we are. Right, there we go. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's that away a bit if we can. Right, so it's a bit of a longer one this time. So there's a bit more in this one. It's about um, roughly 27 centimetres in length. Um, let's give them an open then. So these are these look to be. Doesn't say still says snack size on them, but Milky Way is a generally this size anyway. Yeah, let me know how you're finding the channel, by the way. I hope you like it. I've tried to do a bit of diverse videos of things like the live reviews, the stash watches, the uh, lookbacks, um, tier videos. So I'm trying to, you know, and also I'm going to be doing the top, the top, you know, 50 or whatever chocolates of every year and stuff like that, and then chocolates of all time and stuff like this. So hopefully you're liking the variety. I'm trying to, say, do lots of different things. Um, I also do, I know um, if you, you know, there's obviously different member levels, but if you're a bronze member level and above, you get an extra video every every week as well. Um, you know, and if you're higher than that, there's other perks you can get, but, um, you know, yes, and stuff like this. So there's plenty there, really. So I'm hoping, obviously, there's a Discord chat as well. Um, you know, there's all sorts going on. Really. So I'm hoping I've got a bit of a variety in there, lots of stuff for everyone. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> I know, um, I know a lot of other channels might be having more subscribers and things, but I don't think they've got quite as much stuff going on as my channel's got, so I'm hoping that's a good thing. <laughs> but of course, it's whether people find it entertaining. Mine's a bit more dry, I think, my channel, isn't it? I don't really do all these crazy jokes and I don't know, jumping out of windows when reviewing stuff or whatever other people do. Um, but there we go. <laughs> so yeah, we could fit another one in, as always. There's always room for an extra one, we can see that. So, yeah. The way it goes. Right, so we've got the same boring inner wrapping. I think 
I say, it's just a real disappointment that Lidl have just nailed it so well, their wrappers, and Tesco just, who you'd think would be a bit more of a profitable supermarket, have just done a really poor one. I say, there's lots of uh, gappage in here. And they are quite snugly wrapped though inside the packet, so the, the flourishes don't come through in the packet. As you can see, they're all scrunched up quite tightly, so I'm not holding the flourishes against these. And you can see they're all, as I say, curled up in there. Right, um, yes, let's give this an open then. We expect it needs to be very nice and just like, I, like, I quite like Milky Ways actually, they're quite mundane, um, but I actually quite like them. <laughs> just one I don't have very often because I say they're quite mundane, but they are actually very nice. Um, yeah, it's got similar, a bit more like stars on the top of this one though, which is quite interesting. Not sure what the official Milky Way it looks like. I say that's one thing that wasn't the case in the others, the Snickers and the Mars bars didn't have a different topper. Um, all right, let's uh, measure in high, 6.2 centimetres. And this one, uh, 1.6. Uh, and then the width, oops, I can. 2.8. Yeah, so I think if we did put them in the wrapper, let's see if I can remove all those. Yeah, you could probably see that it is a bit smaller. Well, I think it's, it's it's a bit smaller, but it's not, I don't know, there was some wrapper there, it's not too, too bad. You can see where it kind of crumbs up there. But it's still, nonetheless, still about a centimetre. I've definitely seen worse, though. And there we go. Right, okay, let's uh, move that out of the way. Give this a cut. I'm expecting just fluff. Chocolate's always been quite substantial to cut through at the bottom, I have to say. I've always had to put a bit of effort in. Yeah, not much, of course, but you know, <laughs> some, some, more than I expected. It's not scrunched down so much. If the uh, saturation sorts itself, I'll move the plate away. <laughs> Taking its time. Might do it. it just doesn't seem to like uh, light colours, I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I can't... Uh... There we go, a slight bit better. It's a bit like a fudge coloured centre almost, a bit off white. I can't quite, I don't know why it's not. Um... There you go, it's a bit better, isn't it? You can see the bit of the off, off whiteness there slightly. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. All right, well, it's, uh, yeah, definitely there's much more to say on that, really. It looks a bit like a Milky Way. Definitely there's a. Uh... Too much to be commented on there, to be honest with you. But yeah, looks looks like you'd expect. Milky Way, as you don't know, it's like a very fluffy um, center, really. I don't really know how to describe it. I think it's like a, a bit like a nougat, but more softer, really. Milky Ways in the US are basically what we have as Mars bars in the UK, so not the same thing. Um, we don't have Mars bars in the US. Um, yeah, but Milky Ways here, as I say, are just sort of this fluffy center. Like there, you can see the better color there, actually. Um, that's pretty. More accurate, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's give it a taste. See what it's like. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Just like them. Um, Milky Way, really. That sort of. Hmm. Fluffy, creamy centre. I think it might. Hmm. I think it's the same as a Milky Way. There might be a slight difference. I can't quite tell. I, mean, I feel like it might be a bit less fluffy. Maybe a bit sort of, hmm, but I'm not sure. It's hard for me to tell that one without having one side by side. But the taste is pretty much the same. Uh, hmm. I don't think if I um, knew this was a Tesco one, I would be thinking it's not a Milky Way or there's something different about it. It's only because I'm looking for it. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think it's okay, that one. I think it's... um. I like Milky Ways, but I do think they are quite not very exciting. I mean, when I have them in the celebrations pack, I do feel like they do taste a bit better than this, to be honest with you. I feel like this is perhaps not quite as good as the regular Milky Ways, I'm sure of it. I mean, it doesn't, to taste it, I'm not thinking, oh, that's not a Milky Way, there's something massively wrong here. But when I have the sort of the celebrations Milky Way, I do feel like, oh, yeah, they're actually a lot better than them. You know, I gave them credit for of been leaving them, not having them. I feel like that's, this one doesn't quite taste that, so I feel like there is a slight... It's not quite as nice as a regular Milky Way, but I can't 
say for sure that I'd be one side by side with it. But, I'd, you know, as I say, I wasn't sort of bowled over as much as I was when I had the, sort of like the Milky Ways in celebration. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I'm bowled over massively with those, but um, I just want to have them. I think, oh, yeah, it's not too bad. I don't mind having that. You know, um, I was not eating and thinking they were going to be a bit rubbish, but, you know, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> I know, Hans, tell me about it. <laughs> I know, honestly, I have to have nothing but chocolate really today, so yeah. <laughs> Dear me. And then, so trials and tribulations have been a chocolate reviewer, really, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this one, um, yeah, I think this one for me is probably, I think it's, I don't know, I feel like it's not quite as good as a proper Milky Way. I could be wrong, as I said, it's very hard that one side by side. I just feel like this, it felt like it wasn't quite as fluffy it felt like it wasn't quite as nice. And I say, when I've had a Milky Way from a Celebrations pack, which isn't an actual Milky Way, it's like a small version of a Milky Way. When I've had it, I've always thought, oh yeah, that's actually a lot better than I remembered it. Whereas when I had this one, it didn't taste, it didn't bowl me over, basically. It, it, I wouldn't have thought it wasn't a Milky Way, had I not known. But I would have thought that's not quite as, well, it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like that's probably as I remember, not, nothing special. So... I don't feel like they are as good as proper Milky Ways, but I can't tell for sure about having one next to me. But I'm, I do feel that's the case. And um, But they're not unpleasant. Um, yeah. I think it's probably... It's probably between a two and a half and a three. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say a three, because it wasn't terrible. You know, it's a bit, pretty much an average taste, really. But I feel like it probably isn't as good as the regular Milky Ways. But as I say, it's near... It's very close, um, yeah. So, you know, I think a three out of five is probably about right for that one. But I feel like the regular ones are probably three and a half, maybe, you know. Hmm. So there we go, Hans. Yeah, we managed to get to the end. Yes, there we go, everyone. We've uh, done it, really. So we did seven reviews there. We had the, let's say, the, sort of the, the typical Mars-type suite. You know, the um, Twix and Snickers. I keep going marathons almost. You know, it's been a long time, though. Uh, what they used to be called before they were Snickers in the UK, at least. <laughs> About 35 years ago, something like that. <laughs> um, show my age a bit there. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we had the Snickers, the Marathon. Uh, Snickers, the Snickers, the Mars, the Milky Way and the Twix. Uh, and three of Miss Molly bars as well. The Miss Molly ones were pretty good, actually, other than the uh, the white chocolate one. The Miss Molly ones, basically, the milk chocolate one had a bit of a licorice -y taste to it, almost. I'm not quite sure. It wasn't really that, but it had that sort of taste. It wasn't too bad. That was the milk chocolate. The dark chocolate tasted pretty much spot on for, like, a Bourneville replica. It tasted just the same. I think even the little one was pretty much like that. Um, not too bad. I think the white chocolate one, there was one that had a bit of a nothing taste to it. It didn't really taste of anything that great actually so that was a disappointing one um, and also disappointing was the the appearance of the bars where they all had that uniform look to them you know none of them had a they all had sort of like a, just a uniform pattern it was a bit boring you know um, they all looked like that basically um, yeah could have said Miss Molly on it or something um, as for the Snickers and stuff yeah the Mars one was pretty much like a Mars bar I think and the Snickers one too I think they were pretty much spot on maybe it's slightly smaller I'm not sure um, yeah the Twix one was pretty good as well. Um, it might have a slight fruity, buttery taste to the to the biscuits. Slightly, that might not be present in the regular Twix. I'm not sure, but it definitely wasn't enough to mark it down. Unlike the little one, I think it tasted pretty much the same, and it wasn't a negative taste anyway. Um, Milky Way one though, I think that probably wasn't quite as as good, but I'm not too sure. Um, but I feel like, yeah, it definitely wasn't, you know, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it felt like it was, wasn't was as good, basically. But it might have been, I don't know. It, it, I, would have, I would have not known it wasn't a, a Milky Way, you know, if it had just been given to me blind or whatever, if it had been unwrapped. Um, but when I tasted it, I would have thought, yeah, it was a bit average. That is probably as I remembered it. But when I've had a Milky Way in, um, in the Celebrations box, as I say, when I've tried that, it's actually been a surprise that it's tasted as nice as it did, whereas I didn't get that this time. So I'm assuming from that it doesn't taste quite as good. So there we go. Yeah, so there we are, guys. There we are. We got there. <laughs> Tesco, done and dusted. <laughs> they might do some more stuff. I'll have to check, really. So maybe I'll get some more things for a Tesco Part 2 at some point. I think they do an upper market brand of chocolate as well, which someone was mentioning. I think it might have been Andrew. Yeah, I'm not sure, Andrew Winton. Um... Not too sure, so one of those might have to come back to, revisit. But there we go. Today's homemade oatmeal cereal with peanut butter and shredded coconut day. <laughs> Goodness me, yes. Wow, I mean, you do make some good efforts there for your cereal type stuff, Joe, I must say. Yeah, very impressed with those. Sounds very nice as well, but very, uh, very nutty. I don't know, for me, I'm a bit, it's a miss with nuts sometimes, but um, I'd definitely like to give it a try. A peanut butter, homemade oatmeal cereal. Does sound quite healthy as well, that's for sure. 
You have to go into your own um, seal company uh, making jalapeno. <laughs> We're in the food business, aren't you? So I don't know, I don't know how easy that is for you, but um, it definitely sounds like you've got some good ideas there. Um, yeah, very interesting. Mm, I, don't know. I know a lot of these companies now do online things, don't they? You can order different um, recipes and they'll send them to you and things like that. Um, I'm not saying in any way that it's as easy as just setting it up, but um, I know you've got some good ideas there, so who knows? <laughs> yes, Jow Cooks, Jow Channel. Well, as I say in the Discord chat, if you ever get in the Discord chat, Jow, I do have them um, a section for recipes and things, so if you do want to publish your um, own recipes there at least, you know, they're good to see with photos and stuff, that's a good place for you to do it if you want. No, as I say, no obligation, no pressure or anything. But um, links in the description if I fancy doing it. So yeah, it'll be good to see it. <laughs> but yes, very nutty, yes, very nutty. <laughs> Oh, very nice though, Joe. It sounds, um, yeah, I'm glad you're having something a bit, uh, a bit interesting there. Better than my beans on toast, whatever it is I have, but yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there we go, guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that review. It's been a good one. Yeah, catch you later, Rick, as well. Thanks for making it, by the way. Thanks, Hans. Yeah, thanks, Lee, if you're still there. Um, bit of a, say, a bit of a quiet one today. I think a lot of people were, well, I had no nutters, did we? No nutters, fingers crossed. How about that? <laughs> I think we probably banned them all last time, but they'll come back in force at some point, but who knows. But yeah, at least we had today a bit of a quiet one, so not too bad. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, thanks very much, guys. It's great to see you all again. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Uh, take care and have a great one, and I'll uh, see you next time. I'll do another vote midweek or something like that for the next one. So um, yeah, please feel free to vote. Click on the, uh, the bell icon, stuff like that, so you get to see it. Um, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. As I said, there's a six second delay, so I apologize if I don't reply because uh, I might have already gone, unfortunately. But um, yeah. But take care, everyone. Have a good one. Thanks again. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> see ya.